I read her. No, I just read her so Florida annoying. Man article. Like, I got it after the first two lines you read. I got. They it. were hilarious. I fig- Actually, you know what? He didn't even start reading them. I was like, oh, I get it, because like a news article says Florida Man does this. You know, I explained like, that, and then she. Then I read a few, I spent, and then I, I found them hilarious, so I kept reading them. I spent the majority of the afternoon yesterday, like reading out to my boss, who's in the office, like around the corner from me, like Florida Man on Reddit. Like it's a sensation. It's so funny. Ohio Man might be worse though. There's an Ohio man? Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know if there's a subreddit for it, but Ohio was, man is say, the does, second craziest by does, at uh, least. Is Ohio man's Florida man's rival? Like our, our Probably. Generals? Well, they're both they're both like anti-heroes. They're both notoriously <laughs> terrible. They're both just not good people. Just no. bad at everything. Just terrible, terrible human beings. Uh, welcome to TF4 Podcast. Oh, episode 37? 30, no, 8. 38? 38. It has to be 38. I probably uh, should have. Fuck. We that. should probably write this down. I know. We're so bad at Remember that. Remember when we were talking about getting a calendar for this or like a Rolodex and that never ha- fucking yeah. happened. I'll get one that's posted on the on the wall so we can just That won't down. happen. It's super <laughs> impressive when the host of the podcast that you're guesting on doesn't have a number for you. Who the yeah. fuck are you? I'm Casey, by the way. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi, Casey. Is this okay to have two guests in a row on a show? Uh, yeah, I think so. Did, I'm just did not you miss the memo where we do whatever we want here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Um, well, today we are joined by Mr. Casey Beeman. My name is Vox. I'm Marcus. I'm Kara. I'm Natasha. And you flew all the way from Tampa, Florida to join us. Just to be here. Just here. Just, just here. to be yeah. here. Yeah, I flapped my wings. Not heard, for anything else. I heard you guys uh, wanted me to come in and say some stuff. So I was are like, your hey, arms tired? You know, they're they're just they're a workout. How yeah. how long is the flight usually? Because you fly into Flint, you don't fly into Detroit. Yes, it depends on like the wind, like it affects <laughs> the, how fast he can. Every once get in a while, here. it's yeah. about it's about two and a half hours every time, but we get there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad though. You hop in a uh, you hop in a plane, you fly for a couple hours, you land in Flint. You know, it's a uh, it's small airports, so yeah, it works out. I've flown out of Flint. Do you fly in one of those little bubble gum planes, just like? <laughs> It'd be cooler if I did. <laughs> you know, I, I realize that listening to podcasts makes traveling so much easier. Like, it doesn't seem like it's so long. Like, when I tell people I have a half an hour drive to work, they're like, oh, my God. I'm like, it's fine. I just throw on a podcast and it goes by so fast. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I didn't even get to finish listening yeah. to that episode. <laughs> I think what coming. Natasha's saying is that when you're going to travel somewhere, like, listen, listen to, to us. Listen to yeah. podcast. Yes, of course. We will help you get to your destination. This is coming from the chick that... When I first started like messaging her, she was like, "What's a podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to dare listen. Now to that. you're on your own. Yeah, I know. Of My technique to make these flights go by faster is oh. I, I'm going to do a little shout here. Uh oh! I got an Allegiant card the other day, and uh, what's an Allegiant card? So this is a credit card that when you f- when you show the people that come by, they say, "Hey, do you want any snacks or food?" You say, "Yes, I'd like a vodka and orange juice at 7:30 in the morning." And they go. All right, with the Allegiant card, it's on them. So that's pretty. It's nice. just free. That's awesome. Really? Absolutely. That's nice. That's I know we're not awesome. sponsors, but you know. Hey, see, see what they can <laughs> we do. We like Allegiant. alcohol. We need to get Allegiant to sponsor <laughs> yeah. us. Allegiant, you yeah. can sponsor us. So I get a free drink that way, and it's like, hey, the flight goes by a little faster mm-hmm. that way. You yeah. Know? Get yourself a nice little screwdriver in the morning. Sounds great. Mm. Yeah. I do feel like kind of an alcoholic when I ask them. You know, everyone's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. And I'm like, is, is 730 too early to ask for a screwdriver? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah. yeah. Screwdriver is a breakfast drink. <laughs> It's orange juice. You're fine. Please, please <laughs> leave us a sunrise? comment if you'd like us to post a photo of Casey's Allegiant card for you to, <laughs> to see what it looks like. <laughs> Numbers and all. <laughs> Front and back. Okay, we'll skip that part, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Give me the security number and everything. Uh, we've got a few things to get out of the way before we get into this. Uh, you can Do visit we? us on tf4podcast.com where you can check us out. You can download all of our episodes. Um, I've been slacking a little on the blog post area, but yeah, that's no still there. Tidbits, sorry. And there are no tidbits, although Mark did put down the tidbits on this list that we've been reading off of. So uh, you can always hope for tidbits. Always check that um, site out. I will tell Vox what my tidbits are and he will post them. Probably not. I, Do I need pictures of these tidbits? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, NSFW in the subject line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can listen to us. iTunes. Podcast Attic, 
Castbox, Podbean. I'm sure we're on a few other ones that we're missing, yeah. but you can check us out there. Anything besides uh, iHeart or Spotify? Sorry. iTunes is the big one. Uh, the best simply one. Be- no, it's not the best one. It is. The it's best the one. big one because it's one of the most <laughs> popular. But it's the big one because your reviews are actually very important for our popularity. It's three to one now, though, because Kara got a iPhone. Yeah, well, Kara's a fucking communist. So, well, Whoa. Looks like we're I couldn't figure out how to review us on iTunes. Uh, yeah, just so you know, that's because it's not user friendly. Because fucking iPhones suck. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it stop it. I think if I click on it, it's probably going to fight me. My dad says the iPhones are for stupid people, oh. so it can't be that unuser friendly. So, so I uh, I made a joke about iPhones at work the other day because I'm on the pressing line making cider, pressing apples, and I look at Alex and I go, what if we pressed Androids? Um, ha ha. <laughs> 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 that's a it's a wah wah kind of yeah. it was a good pun <laughs> if Hopefully. you say so um if you i do re- and if that's you what review us on itunes make sure you jump over to facebook and give us a like and you can review us over there as well five star reviews are always welcome but we like your honest opinions. i'll take you your one star if you tell me what 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 i need to improve on that's okay, right Carl. so scroll all the way to the bottom She's trying to tutorial to how to review us oh write and a review there it is can oh. i i don't want to review it and then have it screw up everything fuck it do it in this section Five of the podcast, stars. it's how do we review? Okay, <laughs> it's official. Casey's uh, doing our next theme song. <laughs> there we go. I gave us five stars. Uh, Redbubble is also a thing that we have. If you'd like to support us by purchasing any merch, you can head over to Redbubble. We have stickers up. You can get uh, Mark's freaking beard on yeah. a mug, on a pillow. Yeah. And you can sleep on Tasha's beach. You can also get, uh, no, stop it. There's Pel- no E. Pillow. There's no pillow. E in pillow. It's an I. Is, Don't do that. Is, is that, is what? that a, is that a conversation that has happened before here? No, I, I was just correcting so. him. So have there's, we? There's lots of things that have happened here. <laughs> this is 38. <laughs> you know? changed my mind, yeah. Natasha. I'd like some milk. Mm, Ew. We keep going back to the same well. <laughs> it's fine. Milk. We're funny. I'm done with this. I think our milk <laughs> expired anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one. I'm so done. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> and last but not least, which I'm also slacking heavily in, because you know what? Right now I'm working two jobs. And then when I come home on the weekday, I'm just like, hey, I got stuff to do in the yard. Hey, I got stuff to do in the house. Wednesday, time for Dota. Excuses. That's right. Um, YouTube, you can subscribe to us, like, uh, give us a comment on, on YouTube as well. I'm three episodes behind now, I think, so I apologize Shout for that. Shout out to Tony Swift fan, our only follower right now on YouTube. Bullshit. Tony, f- subscribe to us on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Tony. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. So we got it. Um, I should probably do that. And last but not least, um, we have this awesome thing called Patreon. So if you want to become a patron... Uh, which we have two so far. Shout out to Dustin and Steve. Thank you so much for supporting us. It's a small monthly donation to keep us doing our thing and buy new equipment, maybe run some Facebook ads so we can start growing a bigger audience. Um, but you can head over to patreon.com, search search for TF4, and we have a bunch of tiers that you can get free stuff for as well, like a free sticker or a free cool thing that Car has made, and we're still waiting to ship those out. So there's plenty left. Let's get those going. I need their addresses. Need addresses. <laughs> Um, addresses? Realistically, yeah, we, we could Steve drop yours off to address. Steve. Y- yeah. You think kids in oh, Africa have chairs? <laughs> no. Kids in oh, Africa no. No, I hit it chairs. twice. And Mark's burp screwed me up. I was just actually going to give the... Could you, like, shut up and give us some money? <laughs> <laughs> so, on, a, on the board at work, I put that quote of... Um, yeah. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And, like, everyone is, like, saying it now. No one really realizes that it's from the office. It's Besides it's funny. Like people that actually Did I tell you that's it? written up at, at my my work board? Yeah. Yeah. So I was very tempted to write underneath it dash Marcus Clark. I was I almost did today. I might uh, tomorrow. I always kind of feel kind of motivated. I think it would be hilarious. I'm like, okay. Because Michael Scott's, Scott Scott you know, Scott is, is very, motivational. Very motivational. I mean, I, I I kind of think that that you know the person who actually said that for the first time it might be lost in in time at this point. Wayne Gretzky. No, no, no you always yeah, you always guilty. like. Put a like a sub quote. You put a quote and then you put Michael Scott. Yeah, it says Wayne Gretzky right. and then it says Michael Scott underneath yeah. that. Even better. Yeah, of so. course. Hey, hey, Tosh, do you know who Wayne Gretzky is? He is a football player. Isn't he? <laughs> no, he's a he's hockey not. player. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, at least Greatest hockey player of all time. Sports player. Arguably. I would say, I'm sure someone. Cordy Howe's up there. I cannot argue that. Cordy Howe's up there. Stevie Wise up there. Yeah. This is a fun game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Casey. <laughs> yeah. Football. Well, I'm making noise. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming, man. Um, we have this thing that we do with our guests. And I fucked it up last time, but I'm not going to yeah, do did. it this time. <laughs> um, we each ask you a question of random things that we want to know about you. Ooh. And you just tell us. Because all of our listeners, all th- three, four of them, know who we are now. They know, but we don't know you. Because okay. you've never been here before. So I'll start here with the question that you stole yeah. from me last week. If you could have you one superpower, it. what would it be? A superpower? Um, I feel like everybody goes to like flying, and that's probably pretty lame. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, if I could have a superpower, I feel like being able to see through walls would be pretty sick. Ooh. X-ray vision, nice. Ooh. Yeah. You know, Just walls? Clothes. I was like, kinky. Just kidding. <laughs> and, and if I can be a little bit more like subtle and I'm not being as like superhero-ish, like the ability to summon a nice little sofa chair. That wouldn't wow. be too bad. That is a first. Wow. Everyone's like flying. That's pretty badass. Flying. Why a sofa chair specifically? Well, because- Who the it, fuck doesn't want to lay down? Well, when I was, when I was, you know, we're down here in, in your basement, which is pretty cool, you know? Yeah. I love, I love basements. Yeah. It's been a long Sorry time since, I've, since yeah. I've been in a basement. Um, you know, I didn't have a chair at first. Unfortunately, Vox, being the gentleman he is, was fetching me a chair. Yes. And I thought to myself, God, I really wish I could summon a sofa chair right now. <laughs> okay. You so, could grab that. Just make yourself a love seat. Sometimes, just like, sometimes it's little done. things. Yeah. Right up out of the ground. If I were Thanos, that's what I would do. Just snap your <laughs> fingers and bring some sofa. Summon myself a fucking recliner. <laughs> Lazy boy. Yeah, right. All right, who's next? My right, my left, what? Uh, go to Tosh. I like Tosh. I'm going to ask the same question I always ask, I, too. That's so do I. Uh, if you could go back in time, where would you? what time zone would you want to live in? What time zone? Um, uh, ma- Eastern? Not time zone. <laughs> <laughs> time period. period. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I've played a lot of Red Dead Redemption, so I really right. love yes. that, that time of... Time of Old the, West, you know? Gold Rush, and I, I I don't like how people are like yeah, I've been born in the wrong era because like you know it really kind of sucked to live back in the Wild West because you know it was everyone because plague it was lawless thing. yeah you know and there are people trying to kill you all the time and, and plague is yeah. also a thing yeah. yeah that's a thing <laughs> I feel like you'd be you'd be successfully living there though because you're you're a very charismatic person yeah. And Charisma g- takes you a long way in those times. But but I, I think I'd be like a half-assed kind of cowboy. Like I go back <laughs> thinking like I'd be a guy who's riding around on a horse, like hooping and hollering, roping and riding, and I'd probably be. You'd be that guy hustling people in poker in the fucking bar. In I the suck saloons. at poker. I suck at poker. <laughs> <laughs> but you talk your way out of it. Ace up your sleeve and yeah. all. I don't know what my role would be in the Wild West, but I think it would be kind of a cool time to live in. So that's my answer. Fair Tony answer. Express. To your inquiry. You'd be working that's on the no. Pony Express. I don't think anyone's <laughs> answer has ever been the same. Deliver no. No. Never. Deliver in the mail, like, but you have to, there's a lot to do with that too. That you'd have to like protect people, and protect the mail. Um, if you could tame any animal to be a pet, what would it be? Ooh. A manatee. A man. <laughs> <laughs> I love how instantaneous <laughs> that answer was. Yeah. So, s- little side story. Um, I've been kayaking on these little crystal clear rivers down in Florida, and there's Must always be nice. it's yeah, it's not too shabby. Um, but there's like these manatees that will float at the river, and you can actually like see them there's two like they're big sea cows and they float next to you mm-hmm. and um i was adorable. moderately moderately mm-hmm. inebriated with some of my floridian folk down there and uh we we decided to jump out of said kayaks and uh swim and pet them which you're not really supposed <gasps> to do but like they're, they're chill you know they're just like cows you could go and pet a cow it wouldn't bother sure. are they the ones with the big like no that's a walrus okay it looks like a walrus without that but without the and without the teeth. mustache no and tusks just okay. chill they're like, less, okay. they're they're like bigger, fuzzy. fatter sea lions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know where I'd put a manatee as a pet. So maybe it's in kind of pool. inhumane. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to be like SeaWorld or something. Okay. I just, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's a bad answer, but a, a unique answer. You could, you could just like tame him and he could be your best friend just every time you go to the rivers. Just hang out. Wait, so did you pet these manatees? Yeah, they felt kind of like uh, sandpapery a little bit. I kind of thought they'd be like dolphin, dolphin smooth. Because like, like, they're like in the water all the time. And yeah, yeah, but they weren't. They actually do have this weird <laughs> like mm-hmm. weird fur sort of deal, don't they? Yeah, well, not, not fur so much. Uh, it's like a, like a bristly sort like of Like imagine deal. like some serious goosebumps. Like, That's awesome. Like hardcore like goosebumps. Coarse skin. Oh. Like a, like a yeah, toad. Like sandpaper. Hmm. And uh, but they're cool. Like they, I just swam next to them with my goggles on, and I was like, "Wow, this is super sweet." And, <laughs> and I did that. I'm glad you remembered to breathe since you were slightly inebriated. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so that's why I would want a manatee as a pet. That's a good story. Hmm. I yeah. love them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, my question is, uh, what's your favorite mu- musical artist and why? Oh, oh, uh oh, this that's is a an hard obvious. question. It is a hard question. Um, right is it Bruno Mars? Because I was going like to say, because you look like Bruno Mars. <laughs> oh. Well, I think that would be kind of silly. Yeah, do you want to know what Casey looks like? Look up Bruno Mars. Yep, there, there pretty I, much. There yeah. I am. Uh, Thanks, guys. More, a more, more Caucasian Bruno Mars. I yeah, disagree, that, but okay. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I see it. Bruno I mean, Mars is handsome. It's, that's a compliment. Bruno, Bruno Mars is, Casey's is fucking good-looking sexy. Dude. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> most of your listeners have probably never heard of Joe Hurtler and the Rainbow Seekers, but that is where they're named. Of course. After, Rainbow know, Seeker. Rainbow Seekers named after. Um, but they're absolutely fantastic, a Michigan band. But if I'm not mm. going so, like... Local, like, like niche or like edgy, I guess. Yeah, 
Um, in me, fucking hipster. You're gonna hate me for this, <laughs> but I've always been a big fan of Matchbox Twenty. I do not hate. I do not hate you. Nothing wrong with that. Really? Yeah. I love you guys. Yeah. yeah. That I, does not I, surprise me though. I like yeah. a handful of Matchbox Twenty songs. Can you help me? I'm bent. I'm so scared that I'll never be put back together. You're like a poet, dude. Rob Thomas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go like gorilla style over here. Well, I mean, like I can do that karaoke, but Matchbox has been something I listened to for a long time. Like I was 10 or 12 years old. And oh. It's like it's like every, you know, current 28 year old girls blink 182. Yeah. Basically. I'm a 20. Uh, I'm a 29 year old girl right now. Yeah, I know. Cool. It's fine. All um, the 28 year old girls I know love blink 182. So pretty much. <laughs> wow. Intense. I don't like Blink-182, but I'm also not 28 or a girl, so yeah. <laughs> I got that going for me. Yeah. I like Blink-182, but I'm not I'm not a girl, so. It's sad. Sorry, buddy. Um, I want to jump back real quick. You had mentioned not being in a basement for a while. Yeah. What's the deal with that? So. Florida doesn't have basements, Fox. No, nah, dude. They're down by a sea level over <laughs> yonder way. Um, yeah, it's weird because, like, I was mentioning to you guys outside when, before we, we started podcasting. Um down there, we, we like we're so low towards sea level that like nobody has a basement. And I've been there for four years, and you stop thinking of places with basements. So when you're like, I got a basement, I was like, holy shit, I remember these things, <laughs> you know. So it's nice to be back in a in a basement. Feels like home. Hmm. Yeah. Do your do, do your sisters or your parents have basements? In the oh house? yeah, absolutely. So, so, but you come home, and you're not like, let's go to the basement. Yeah, it's just okay. not it's not my agenda. Okay. Yeah, is their, basement, their basement's not homey enough. Um, no, no, this is a, it's a finished basement. I'm a fan. Oh. You know, you've got a couch, yeah. a sofa, a sofa couch that I wish I could summon as my superpower. They're uh, missing some legs, but that's fine. Nice some cushions. We'll, nice we'll cushions hey, the hey, there are, are people missing up. some legs that are pretty fucking awesome too. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> aren't the legs laying around here somewhere? They're somewhere. <laughs> Mark's Just because like, they're legs broken doesn't everything. mean they're not cool. Do you guys have people's legs laying around here somewhere? Yeah. 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 Uh, I do at my other Do you job. know where we work? <laughs> that's why we have a basement. That's the basement, main reason they got a basement. Natasha. This big room right here, there's just legs hanging all over in it. You wonder why that closet this, is that blocked shoot, off? That shoot right there is where they drop the feet in. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Glad to be here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I can't. I can't like think of a place that I've gone without a basement. I was just thinking that the way you said that earlier, I was kind of like, oh shit! Like I didn't even think of that. Yeah. They, I don't even want to look at houses. They have foundations houses that don't have a basement. Exactly. Yeah, that's the that. scary thing, place. though. Like, is it, Florida gets a lot of hurricanes and a lot of tropical storms. Like, what do you guys use for storm shelters? Storm um, shelters. Like we use closets. <laughs> <They're> like, there's <laughs> a, de- a designated location for those things. Well, what they what, like you, a like a gen pop area. They they have sorry this, not prison no <laughs> prison terms. <laughs> they do this thing called evacuating. Oh, yeah. so oh, that like, must fucking GTFO, suck. GTFO, that's their motto. Yeah. And fortunately, coming up and working the haunt for the last few years in October during hurricane season, yeah. I've been dipped out for every single major hurricane that has hit Florida. So, And I'm, then you're just texting your loved ones like, hey, <laughs> are you okay down there? <laughs> Essentially. Um, Post on Facebook, who's alive? But they do All this. Right, I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do this thing called a hurricane party, though, which is pretty unique. I never heard of these. What? You, yeah, so you get down there and these people, these people, these Floridians, um, and fucking ex- Florida, an exotic man. culture, right? <laughs> Um, they they go and they'll buy everything at the store, of course, that you need because you're going to lose power. You got to eat everything in your in your refrigerator and your freezer. So like they have hurricane parties, so everybody like shelters in at these like apartments or houses, no basements, and they end up <laughs> just proceeding to get hammered and eating a lot of good food. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, if you're going to die, you might as well stay together yeah. and party. Yeah, you know, Florida people are really weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Fucking, it's a Super Bowl party for a hurricane. Like, Florence is coming, guys. Let's fucking party. <laughs> I feel like any time we hear about Florida, it's never, like, a good thing, though. Like I mean, it depends how you take some of, like, the stories that you hear. Uh, it's always some of them, like, that's that they pretty at, awesome. the, at the very least, Florida Man is amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I was going to say. I, I Whether just, bad or good. We have Dave and Trek the Freak here, obviously, who is a local uh, you know, radio show. And Drew and Mike as well. Well, Drew and Mike is more of a podcast. They are a podcast now, but they focus so much more on like the long, drawn out stories of sports and books and current events. Where Drew and Mike have to keep because there's new people coming in every you know every half hour. If you think about it, because that's about the average way to get to work is a half hour drive. So um, I think oh, Vox is referring more to like the really effed quick. up things in Florida yeah. and like what's up with the Asians. Douchebag kind of. of the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so have you? personally witnessed a florida man event or do you just always hear about yeah it? your local superhero i haven't and i'll tell you guys why because you know down there in florida you have one of the like top three highest populations in the in the country for a state 
And Florida, the way that they've like organized their government, they have this thing like public access. So if you if you commit a crime in Florida, it's like public knowledge. They believe that like government should be completely transparent. Oh shit! Yeah, That's so nice. it is kind of it is Wish kind of Michigan unique. was more like that. And but like forty nine other states don't have this. But like the shitty thing is like if you get arrested, like everybody can know about it. Okay. So there's literally tabloids at some of these gas stations when you're driving around that have like the the um like the hot sheets of like. Oh, we have pit. we have something like that here. Well, the mug, but it's, mug it's shots of people. That, yeah, but it's not what? as common. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it several times. Like I when I was I when I was living in is. Grand Rapids, they had them. So I don't know if it's just like a big city thing. It has or? to be a local thing. It is. It's yeah. it, it's weird it's pretty too. Fucking awesome. Yeah, we saw it on a drive to Daytona um, one time, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Um, there's like it was weird. They're so trashy because there's like one page. It's like the hot mugshot of the day, and it was like the top like hot people that got arrested. What? <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. I wish that you would have brought one of these with you because I'm so curious. Yeah, where's our souvenir, Casey? <laughs> I'll bring it up next time. Okay. Yes, Deal. please do. Next week. I want to <laughs> see this. Yeah. So what you have though is like you know they have the the government that like is completely like uh, transparent in this this aspect anyway. And you have a giant population of people, and you're in like probably the hottest state in the country. And then like when people mess up, you know, like everyone's like, "Hey, we're gonna just tell everyone about it." So that's why Florida man's a thing. And a lot of ways, like that's why Florida's so weird, aside from the old people. But um, Florida is fucking weird, though. Is that why Florida is so weird, or is that why like that's we why think everyone Florida knows is so weird? It. Because we know more about the weird people yeah. in Florida. That's why everyone knows about it. Because every like every <laughs> single stupid crime ever. That comes out of Florida is in these tabloids, yeah. and every Florida person really knows about it. And they're like, "Hey, let's tell everyone about how stupid Roger over right. here is." Because personally, I feel <laughs> like the people of Walmart makes me think of like yes. Michigan, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Tennessee. like northern people. Yeah. Honey, the people of Walmart <laughs> is probably a majority Florida man. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that's what I think of when I think of like the people of because Walmart. you've seen those people in our Walmart. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> So Greg Ka- has Greg has been one of those people in Walmart. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Casey's actually the one who has turned me on to Florida Man. He's turned uh, you on. Last You're turned year. on by Florida Man. Yes. <laughs> um, and because we're both redditors. Oh, absolutely. Yes. yes. So he, what's Reddit? You're like, Same. Stop it. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So Thank he's you. like, you got to go check out Florida Man. It's so hilarious. So I just want to take a second here and read through some of the top Florida Man. I read a lot of them uh, today. things today. So uh, first one right off the bat, Florida Man can. Comp- commutes on i-95 in his undies while smoking pot yep uh naked man naked florida man chases people and cops around a uh chick, chili, chick oh my fl- god chick-fil-a chick-fil-a parking lot parking lot telling everyone that they're gay for looking at his penis and then that same guy <laughs> tried to start a naked fight club in the chick-fil-a parking lot oh you'll god. find that later on in this role <laughs> the same guys in like six of them florida man sets ex-girlfriend's car on fire then returns to the bar <laughs> that's gonna be me someday florida Uh-oh, man Carl, gardens watch out. in the nude here's one florida man causes a hundred thousand dollars in damage to walmart liquor store under construction with hot wired forklift gives police his name is Alice Wonderland and says a hookah smoking <laughs> caterpillar told him to do it. <laughs> Get it? Because the pork lips probably a caterpillar. <laughs> Maybe. Or he's on acid. That, that could Fucking bat salt to fuck you up, guys. Meths. What is uh, Poozy? Oh, into oh. a... P- okay, okay. I get yep. it. I get it. Florida man collects nearly 10,000 pieces of poop, turns it into a poozium. A poozium. <laughs> poozium. Museum. Museum. Did you go to a poozium? That's kind of clever. Museum I mean, poop. Yeah. would you go? So if you're yeah. on Reddit, I bet it smells like shit. <laughs> oh, God, he's, he's crushing him. I yeah. love myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you I suck. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I hey, got... Mark, did you bring your keys in here? I oh. brought a key. Is the key to the car? Yeah. Okay, so I just have to leave like faster than you. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought we were gonna get real serious here. Like, did you lock the keys in the car? <laughs> no, I, I was hoping he left his keys house. in the car so that I could leave oh, him so you here. Just leave. Okay. Got yeah, you. I got you. Now I think it might only be fair. You guys did each ask me a question. If I could return, like, oh, do oh, you have questions free. for us? Okay. okay. Okay, but this is kind of like a group question. I think I might have a couple of these. Okay. Um, I guess my, my first one would be that as a group. If this podcast was going skydiving, who would be the first one out of the plane and why? Mark. Mark. Probably me. Mark. Mark. Yeah. Okay. And um, why? Because he's batshit crazy. Well, well, 
one, I'd be scared to death because yeah. heights scare the shit out of me. But two, I'd be the <laughs> one to say, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. He'd yeah. be like, let's get this over with. Let's go. Yep. Just like jump. I, I legitimately would not want to do it. And he'd, say, probably, you know like, he'd probably like, he'd probably jump first, during the instructions on how to jump. Yeah. <laughs> if I go uh, out first, everyone will follow, right? I forgot I'm your not shoot. so much scared I'm a leader. of heights. I'm, a, I'm scared of the abrupt stop at the yep. end of the fall. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't mind heights. I don't mind being up high. I'm like six six. If I fall, it hurts. Yeah, I'm scared of heights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they yeah. teach you how to land. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my my dad if you make me it how that to far. land too. That doesn't make it any better. Oh. Yeah, if he makes it that far, so hoping nothing else happens. We got Marcus out of the plane first. Yep. Who's on deck? I'm next. Tosh, you next. Tosh do you want to do it though? I would love to skydive. Yeah, she's fucking nuts. But she doesn't want to be the first one. No. She's never the first one, but she wants to do a bunch of stuff. She's just like, okay, you're doing She just got to see go. somebody yeah. like follow through with it and I, be I, like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going <laughs> to exactly answer your right. next question for you. The last one will probably be Kara. Kara yes, is last. I agree. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to say, like, be, that leaves I'd be like, Kara, okay, Kara, everybody's out, and now I'm left behind. So Kara will ride pussyfoot this down. the whole time. Yeah. So Ta- I don't think Vox would jump. Tosh, get, he, he would. He'd get, go after you. Let me explain. Let me explain. Actually, I wasn't even going to go there, so I apologize. I didn't mean it in a love way. I mean it like you jumped. He'd be like, God damn it, and go. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Although I do think that I would probably be one of the fastest to acclimate out of like survival. <laughs> Usually I am when I'm doing something that I'm terrified of. I like adjust. Yeah, I'd, I'd jump out and I literally would just think about how I'm going to die on the way down. I wouldn't panic. I'd just be like, all right, well, if this shoot doesn't work, I'm fucked. Yeah. Um, Tasha's giving me shit for wanting you on the show because I fanboy over Casey Beeman so Yay. much. Casey Beeman. I but say fangirl. Or but... fangirl, whatever. <laughs> but Mark, believe it or not, is also a person that I fangirl over sometimes. So if he would be like, all right, oh, yeah, baby. Like, out, I'd be like, Fuck. let's go skydiving. And then, then. Tasha's is like, <laughs> I'm so scared I'm out of going too. skydiving. I would okay, love okay, 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 okay. And then just y- you're so, do it. Yeah. I'm so scared of the idea of going skydiving, but I thought about it a lot. Like uh, I think that. I'm just worried that I'm going to die. Like, I don't want to do it and then die. I want to do it and experience what's, what's it. Funny, what's funny is my dad was a paratrooper, and like he'd, he's probably going to be disappointed in me when he hears this, that I'm scared of skydiving. But, I mean, one day I might. Maybe when I'm 40. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I if I'm going to die, I'm going to go I'm out, right? You know? Yeah. Midlife crisis Fuck style. Yeah. The way you said, like, you would just think about how you're going to die on the way down. Have you guys seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No. Uh, I just watched it for the first time. Probably not. No. Like, two weeks ago. Okay, so... The improbable uh, drive. I fell asleep like 45 minutes into it. Yes. <laughs> nice. Damn I'm it. sorry. There's a portion in this movie, though, regardless, where uh, they're getting attacked by nuclear rockets, and there's this fun device. Nuclear? That, like, nuclear. I'm George W. Bush. God um, fucking damn. Nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyways, this, this device turns things into random objects, and it turns the two missiles, one into a bowl of petunias and the other into a whale. And the whale, the whole time while falling, was discovering everything because he was just born. So he was like, ah, air. Like, I'm fa- uh, whoa, this this feeling, like I'm falling. And I feel like that would be you because you're just like this big mass of a guy. And you'd be like, ah, things are going on. Like, ooh, clouds. Like, whoa, birds. Like, things coming towards my face. All of that just to call me fat. Thanks, Fox. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Mark, I might, you're, you're wide height, height-wise. I'm wide? You're wide height-wise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So when I lay down, I'm tall. Yes. That's right. Next question. <laughs> All right. If the four of you collectively Uh-oh. were to go on a road trip, all right, and, and you, each had Bless to, you. you each had to pick a destination, but at the same time, you have to keep in mind what your other road trippers are into, what parts of the United States slash Canada or Mexico, I guess I'll allow, would you go to? Tennessee. Ooh, right off the bat. I want to go to Tennessee really bad. And I know, didn't you? You've been there, right? My dad's in Tennessee. My grandma's in Tennessee. Yeah, blah, yeah I'd blah. wait for like these three to pick, and then I would pick, and then I'd plan the whole event. So yeah. Yeah. I've yep, always wanted far. to go to Nashville, though. There's a lot of bachelor people. So, so, so far, we've got, you're leaving Detroit, and you're heading south to Tennessee, going to Nashville, listening to some country music or something. Fox, where are you going? I like country yeah. music, but not that much. But Something I'm on the way you want to go to? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Fox is like, I don't Fox even like, like going outside. Fox is like, country most of music the time. sounds like fucking hell. I'm yeah. going to hell. Yeah, yeah, but you do want to go to Tennessee. I've already been to Tennessee. But you said you'd uh, go to If we're going to Na- Nashville, let's take a swing right and go to Gatlinburg. 
Thank you. You want to so, go to two places in Tennessee? Yeah. That's where we're road tripping to? Well, okay. if we're going to Nashville, <laughs> listen to me. If we're going to Nashville, we might as well, if we're, if we're going to Tennessee at all, we have to head east and see my dad. Otherwise, he'd fucking kill me. So, <laughs> All right. So you got Nashville and Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg so far. You guys, are a, you guys are a I've been to of Gatlinburg. Your- Realistically, where I want to go is not in America. I so. would just assume that like Tennessee was like one stop. That's no. Right. That's one Tennessee. stop, yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Tennessee oh, is like okay. a... If we're moving on beyond that... Like one yeah. stop in Tennessee. Okay. Well, no. Like we go to Tennessee and we can visit Tennessee. Yeah. You got like a, you got like a day else. in Tennessee. And then go gotcha. somewhere else. Okay. Uh, it depends. Shit. I guess what way the rest I of us go. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. So you got. Okay. So you, you've done Tennessee. <laughs> We're getting out of Tennessee. Let's what go. about on the way down to Tennessee? Like. Oh, no, no, no. no this no. is a straight trip to Tennessee. Tennessee oh, is the first so stop. We're, we're putting dots on oh, this. Okay. Whoever, okay. whoever speaks up next, that's where we're going. That's right. Uh, fuck. I let's mean, go, let's, so, go to, let's go to Seattle. Ooh. Oh, ooh. I would love you to go shoot. to Seattle. Okay. <laughs> she, Kara's, you know, she's thinking about She's like, logistically, I should have talked to her first. She's going to plan. I want okay, to well, I'm going to go ahead and say California now since it's right there. Oh, that's what I was going to say. We're in California. That's a big fucking state. Seattle. Um, I, yeah, I was going to say California before he got Seattle out, but we can drive along the coast. Um, that sounds I don't know. Like a I'd be fine with, I, I, I would want to go see San Francisco, but I'd be like cool with going to like LA, but I want to go to a beach and I want to avoid want. LA at all costs. I heard that San Francisco <laughs> smells like <laughs> shit. There are too many people I want to punch in the face in LA. Let's avoid Most that town. Do. So did New York, but we still went there. New York's great. Yeah. Yeah. Niagara Falls, I go there again. All right, Vox. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going to stop by the White House. Okay, so we're going to Washington, then Tennessee, then California, then nope. Seattle. No, 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 nope. no, 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 no. Nope, it's been laid out. We're going to Tennessee, <laughs> then we're going to Washington State, then we're going to California, and then we're going all the back way back to, to the <laughs> District of Columbia, and then back to Michigan. I want to see where the the king himself sits. <clears throat> all hail Trump. Oh, jeez. I, thought you were I really, about, I really want to puke in I front of the White House. About, so let's do that. I thought what you were talking about Lincoln and his big giant chair. The Washington Fuck that. Up. Trump, you know. Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh, this is one of those podcasts. Hey, can you reach the mute button over there? <laughs> Did you touch it? No. Hey, um, how many empty bottles are here button. that I can hit box with? Oh. Yeah, this one's like not empty, but it's resealable. Here yeah, you go. I got one. Cara, we've had this discussion a, a couple of episodes ago on one of the last few in the apartments. You're a fucking uh, conservative. That doesn't mean so. she likes Trump. That doesn't mean I you like love, Trump. You love Trump. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Well, if you, you can't say it enough and make it true. Yeah. She may or may not <laughs> okay, support okay. some of his, some of myself. his party's ideals, but that does not mean that she likes that big, giant fucking buffoon. I don't <laughs> think I want to go into politics with Casey I don't. I don't. Table. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> These are the places we don't want to go But to be honest, <laughs> but to be honest, if there was one person to talk about a, a controversial subject with that would actually probably change the way you look at a subject, it's Casey Beeman. Well, that's because you know that I'm going to agree with you on this one from what I've heard so far in this conversation. (laughs) (laughs) Vox knows he's the odd man out. And that's okay. That's your right as an American, and I love you for it. Goddamn right. Yeah. True. Where's my dad? (laughs) (laughs) I made out of grief for what you stand for, but I'll defend your right to believe it. So you guys went, not to backtrack, but you went from... Um, Tennessee, and yeah. then you drove all the way across the plains through the Rocky Mountains for a nice scenic view. You got to Seattle through like Montana or Wyoming, whatever you're drunk. God. Out. And then you decided Stretch to duck north to somewhere in California, not quite defined. South. South California? Uh, South San to Francisco. California. Well, south to California. What did I say? San Francisco and Oakland. Let's yeah, do that. San Francisco and Oakland. All right, so that, and then you then Let's you see go, the hood and then go to the, the Golden City. I want to go to Los Angeles. We're not going to the hood. See, well, Oakland's the best place. I don't think to so. get killed. I mean, you yeah. can hit you can <laughs> yeah. hit Oakland and San Francisco Sorry, on the Chicago. way to L.A. Yeah, so that could be a thing. I, I don't want to go to L.A. I will Chicago. not fucking huge. I will not state. set foot in that fucking city. I feel like I just set you guys on fire with your old road trip plan here. Like, no, we're not going that way. <laughs> this is like a hypothetical road trip too. Yeah. We're like <laughs> already at each other's throats. But then all the way back to see where Uncle Don sits, and then back to Michigan. Uncle Don, <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you put that. But what disturbs me a little bit is that you guys didn't want to stop and visit me in Florida. Oh, you're here. I, I know. Um, Maybe I take that for granted. Wait, because, wait, wait, wait. Because we want you to months, move to Michigan, though. Yeah, that's 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 the correct answer. Also, in my defense, I've been to Florida before, and we were going to Tennessee already. So I was like, let's go somewhere I haven't been. That's yeah. fair. So to be fair, like Florida, I've never been sucks, to Tampa so. though. I've never been. I don't think I've been through Tampa. I don't think I've like actually I flew stopped out of in Tampa. Tampa. <laughs> I've been to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, well, yeah. I've technically been to <laughs> Atlanta. I've, I've, I've been there, never been on a plane. Well, I know that most people, you know, they don't have any interest in going to this little, you know, this 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 dick that hangs off the south side of Florida or south side of the United States. This a lot of people want to go to the southern end of it and go on the little islands. The Keys, that's all. Miami, yeah. you know, it's so, you know, Beach okay. Boys. Full I'm really trying Evans. to talk Miami. Mark into going on like a like a four to seven day cruise down Can there. You fucking yeah. on. And he just, he's like, I don't want to go on a plane and a boat for the first time on the same trip. <laughs> and then and then I leveled with her. I was like, I'll make you a deal. We'll go, we'll go on this specific cruise that I want to go on. And then she said, no. Which one? The Chris Jericho cruise. No. The rocking wrestling no. razor. What? I don't know. That sounds kind of fun. I would either do something awesome. that I hate. I would be forced to do something that I hate or go hang out by myself on a cruise with you. <laughs> it sounds like a Look, fair It's the only time <laughs> no. you can see wrestling on the water. And then on top of that, he's having a rock concert. I don't want to see wrestling in my house. <laughs> he, it's, a, it's at a Is rock concert. It? And you get to see live I'm not podcasting. I'm against it. I just don't find it entertaining anymore. Wrestling podcast. I liked it when I was <laughs> No, a it's kid. not all wrestling either. Uh, he's, hosting, he's hosting all sorts of podcasts. Like and what? I also in, haven't in liked Chris comedy? Jericho since I was like 12. Chris Jericho's the man. Who the fuck is Chris Jericho? <laughs> <laughs> lead singer of Fozzie. That would be something you'd know. Who? The lead singer of Fozzie. Really? Yeah. The way that I am is my favorite song by them. Yeah. Uh, Judas is pretty decent. Mm. Judas is their big one he's I trying to push. I don't even know who Fozzie is. You'd hate him. Don't worry about it. Chris Jericho's a pro wrestler, <laughs> by the way. I, I figured he's been a pro much. wrestler since like 1993 or some shit. But yeah, he is the lead singer of a band called Fozzie. Yeah, they have an uh, album called All That Remains. Yep. And I thought it was All That pretty Remains. Good. And the album was called Fozzie. Fozzie. And I, because th- he sounds like the lead singer of All That Remains. Uh, similar, yeah. Listen to The Air That I Breathe by All That Remains and then listen to The Way That I Am by Fozzie. Yeah, it's, it's similar. The same exact singer, I swear to God. It's I, obviously, not the same it's not. singer. It's obviously, not the same it's not. But it, 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 they do have similar sounds. Yeah, they sound, sound the same. Uh, anyways, got another question? Um, final question. Okay. All right. If you guys were in a hypothetical zombie apocalypse, easy. That's oh, an easy no, question. No, 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 no. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Right. Oh, he's giving me the eyes right now. Now, all three out of the four of you have to die in this sad, sad story. No problem. Sorry, guys. Who is going to be the one? Yeah, that's me. To survive? <laughs> no, to survive? I, think, to survive? I think Vox would survive. Wait, no, come you... on, ladies. The one to survive? Yeah. I, I wouldn't survive. I'd die. I thought you were going to ask, like, the one who bites the bullet first. Like, what were you going to say then? What would your answer have been? I would die first. No. Would you let out her of, die first? Out of pure survival or out of like trying to help each other? No, you guys are a crew, the four of you. You're uh, your podcast. Sorry, you're, I survived the longest. You guys are podcasting here next week, you know, and all of a sudden <laughs> during the apocalypse. the apocalypse. Yeah, and you can't like go out. Dawn of the Dead. Oh, oh my god, it's like Hello like from the American Magic Horror Tavern, Horror but worse. <laughs> <laughs> we, I just watched two episodes of it. Last I don't know. Night. I, I would. Honestly, yeah. I thought you were going to ask who would die first and like why, and I think it would either be. Mark and I would end up getting ourselves killed because we'd be protecting these two. Oh, that's def- that's a fair point. Mm. Oh, suddenly that, a change your answer, no, he's, there, Marcus. That's that's a fair point. <laughs> that's what I thought you were going to ask. Because like, who's the first to go out? Like, seriously, Mark or I? Because we'd be. We'd I don't be think it would be Mark. Things. It probably would be me. <laughs> I don't. I don't think um, it would be Mark. If you're asking about I don't sacrifice think, myself. No, I mean I don't think that Mark would go out like that. I just don't, I either. I, no, I let would, me put it this way: I'd go out. I'd go out fighting. Me that much. I'd go out fighting. I I. I wouldn't go out that early because of that. Like, Kara's seen me literally, like, dive into a pile of people and come out unscathed. Okay, so <laughs> what What if we're all in different spots? Like, we're not all together. Then Ooh. i probably die trying to get Who to you guys. Who would die first? I don't trying know. Trying to get to what? Trying to get to you guys. Aww. Like, if that's if This that's is a the mean case, question. Yeah. Uh, because we're... I'm a pretty cynical bastard, so I'm the kind of guy that would, like, shoot someone in the kneecap to let... Yep. You're Shane. Yeah. Well, yeah, see, that's what I kind of thought. I'm like, Vox could go one of two ways. Like, he would just be like, I'm over it. I'm not going to try and fight to survive in this. Or he'd flip and he'd be willing to, like, kill you to survive. Vox is Shane, like, by until, the end of it. Vox is Shane until he turns into the governor. I'm Rick until I turn into Rick when he gets worse. <laughs> I wouldn't turn into the governor. Fuck that shit. The governor gets turned into a real cynical asshole. Yeah, but then he gets all soft in the end. That's true. He becomes a big, fat, big bitch. fat bitch. Yeah. You'd be what's his face? Negan. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Look at me wrong. I'm putting a spike through your head. Like, 100%. Yeah. I can see that happening. Are you a fan of The Walking Dead? No. Okay. So you're a little lost. Yeah. I only watched the fan first of zombies. Season, I wonder so why. I don't know any. I know, so like, Rick quick, and Shane. Quick synopsis. Shane shoots a guy in the knee to get, to get away from zombies to, yeah, save, to protect him, so. save his best friend's son. Yeah. Uh, who, whose mom he's banging. 
<laughs> yeah, to Drama. make it even more. Negan yeah. literally kills anybody who wrongs him in any way, Didn't shape, or form because pregnant? he's an asshole. Uh, yeah, supposedly. What happened to that child? It's still uh, alive, still unfortunately. Alive. Yeah, spoilers. But no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's still around. Yeah. She's, she's like walking. It's, talking, it could be oh, Rick's. It could be Shane's. It. Nobody knows. Well, I'm curious, though. I was kind of hoping because I know you guys do some D&Ding. Yeah. Some, some didding. Interesting. Some didding. How do you, how do you ding. put it? Didding. 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 I was hoping that you guys would be like you know, a little bit creative with this because I know that you know we've kind of decided so far that Marcus would go out first in this you know epic like you know I'm going to save the, the team. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I'd go out first. <laughs> like if we're all separate, <laughs> if we're all, let me put it this way, if we're all separated and we're all individually. If I may, I, I, I painted the picture. You're here, you're podcasting next week. Okay. And it starts. I think the uh, best person to answer this is our DM. Yeah. Because she has, you have seen how our characters are through the whole thing. And you know me. I really don't role yeah, play. Up. Yeah. I that's what's going to happen is that Vox is going to pull out some kind of heavy. No, Vox fucking no, runs no, no, and leaves us all, no, no, you no, no, asshole. Listen, <laughs> listen, if we're going to go based on our dungeoneering skills here, then Vox is going to pull out some kind of heavy weapon out of here. And get me There's killed. There's going to be zombies in this basement, and he's going to fire it down here and get us all killed. Yes. <laughs> fucking fireball in the tiny hallway, you asshole. That's, but no, yeah. let's let's point and out. And I'm not going to be playing or participating. Let's point out. <laughs> let's point out the the original way we met Fox's character in D&D. We all escaped from prison, and he says, fuck you guys, I'm out of here, and books it. <laughs> and then we spent the next, like, two hours trying to save his ass because he really might be important. Which is really appreciated by a DM who's trying to do a whole storyline that's pre-planned. That's the whole reason I did it. Otherwise, I would have said, fuck it, let him die. <laughs> Sounds like there's some animosity built up over this this incident. Uh, I don't my, like Vox's character. My character hates <laughs> Vox's character, to but paint, they have a they have a mutual respect. They have this weird respect. <laughs> to paint a small little picture, Mark is a big red demon. I'm a weird elf thing. I do a lot of magic things. He does Selfish a lot of like big. Things. He lit me on fire. <laughs> I cast a fireball, which does a mass amount of damage in a big radius in a hallway that was only like five feet tall. He described Mark's... it as literally dunking the fireball over my shoulder. Oh yeah, I ran up over Mark and <laughs> and dunked a fireball. LeBron. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he and if not for some magical godsend gift to you guys, everybody would have been dead. Uh huh. Everybody would have been dead. Well, realistically, I I saved. The person immediately behind me. Have you ever played Box. D&D? Yeah. <laughs> well, we talked about this last year when we were doing yeah. some zombie things, and I would love to participate in a campaign. I think you'd have so much fun. Yeah. We can start up so a Roll20 fun. and do this shit. I mean, I'm, oh, I yeah. mean, he's going to be in Florida. Florida, Roll20 is online. No, no, no. I mean, like, if you, well, I guess October is a bad time. And you yeah. October is a terrible time for D&D. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But at least we got you here. Because last year we had talked like, uh, we're starting this podcast pretty soon. And mind you, we hadn't started yet because it was October, yeah, that's not true. January. We waited until after that. Yeah. So I had like started putting that idea in your ear. And I'm like, yeah, we also do like D&D stuff. And we also do like all this. And you're like, oh, that sounds awesome. So at least we got you here. Present. Present. Total. Proud to be here, guys. Appreciate it. Do you yeah. have any other hypothetical situations you want to throw us yeah, into? Anything else you want to destroy start us, us with? Killing each other? You know, those are the <laughs> not killing each other, but dying for one another. That's what I love to hear <laughs> in a podcast. Um, Realistically, Vox would probably get us killed being risky or running away. I don't think so. <laughs> no, Vox is I think not, that not if really. it comes down to no, like do really. or die, I think that he if, would. If we were people that weren't. He would like pull out his little knife. Let me put it this way. Stab if we were people that weren't important to him, we'd all die. <laughs> he'd just fucking he'd sacrifice us or leave us yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'd do the same though it's fine. Fine. I think this house is Where pretty fortified though uh, we're in a basement so yeah <laughs> basements yeah things, how about those things that you don't have any and we have a bathroom over. so I mean we're not pissing on each other that's fine. right I do have a sump though so we might run out of water fuck it you have a basement in your bathroom <laughs> you need a bathroom in the basement he's got a basement <laughs> in his basement like basement basement <laughs> he's got he's got Clear. bases in his basement what? Uh, two of them, yeah. He does. <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> um, what else you got on there? Yeah, what's all the rest? Wanna, what's the rest of this yeah. stuff? I Casey, see. Casey, so, Casey brought a lot of subjects. No, no, no. It's all, it's well, all like just little talking points. And I, I thought that the only thing that differentiated me from other people that you have, uh, you know, had on the podcast in the past is that I've been a Florida resident for four years. And I thought, you know. When I was growing up here in Michigan, I was a pure Michigander, 112% through and through. Sure. It's a lot of percent. <laughs> and, uh, you like going up north and splitting wood by yourself, don't you? I, it's, it's, a, it's been a hobby of mine for a long time. Thank you for bringing that up. Sure. Um, and I thought to myself... <laughs> if Fangirling I, over here. If I want to do um, something... Yeah, yeah. Call, call, <laughs> he's oh my God. Look at the smile on his face. He's just... He's in... He's in 
<laughs> you guys are pure joy. Dicks. Pure oh, joy. Man. <laughs> if anybody could dream. talk Vox into being like an adult member of the Boy Scouts of America, it'd be you. If anybody could talk Vox into splitting wood, it'd be you. Or his dad. He's done that already. <laughs> <laughs> At Blake's. Yeah. So, I mean, I've always loved Michigan. Always been a big fan. Like, obviously, this is my home. This is my place. And uh, I moved to Florida, and I started to realize after I, I went down to the, the dark land um, that there are some differences between where oh, we are. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, but not just like Florida man differences. Some things that you just don't think about that you're like, what is this? Okay. And I thought I'd hit you with a few of these because they're kind of interesting. You know, aside from like the manatees and the gators and stuff. Um, did you know that when you pull up to an intersection in Florida, if it's a major intersection, it doesn't matter. And you want to go back the direction you're coming from, you can just bust a U-turn right there in the middle of the intersection as soon as you got a green light. What? I mean, you, you, I assume you have to be in the left-hand lane. That here, but That's legal? That it's completely legal. And, really? And like at all major U-turns? Yes. Do people get hit? Um, mm. If you're not watching. You know, but like sure it, you, you yield as you're making a right turn, you yield to people who are on your left side making the U turn going the same direction you are. I know that probably sounds weird to hear and not visualize. Yeah. I can visualize it. I can, okay. I can see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. So if you, you, if you can see that somebody's making a U turn, then you're not allowed to turn right yet. You have to like let them finish their turn and then you can go. So the U turner yields to the right hand turner. Oh, so that's, okay. That's the law of the land. All right, and that's something that coming up here to Michigan and not really driving here as much for the last four years. I go to, like, I passed 14 Mile where you're at. And yeah. I'm like, not to put a locale. Um, <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> He's actually passed 14 Mile. Good, yeah. Yeah. Wait, way, pa- way, way past. Past. way past. <laughs> And then I, I went back and I passed this road. And I was like, shit, I wish I could just turn around. And I pulled up and I'm like, oh, I can't do that. And I had to, like, do a Michigan Yui. And I was yes. like, this is bullshit. Yes. Michigan Yui suck. Michigan you, if you suck. If you want to have that, if you want to come back to Michigan and you want to have that, down by Great Lakes Crossing, you can do that. They have a lot of intersections that do that. It's allowed? Yeah, down down in that area. I love it. Yep. Down in that area. It's like 20 minutes up, from here. Up yeah. in that area? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's up, north yeah. of here. Yeah. yeah. Northwest? It's not 20 minutes from here. Northwest of here. It's oh, probably it's like half an hour. Okay, 20 minutes, half hour. Northwest of here. It's, yeah. it's close. You guys were arguing about the difference between like 30 and 40 minutes last week when you went to go get her mom from the airport. I don't remember. Boo fucking who. <laughs> he doesn't even remember how long it was. He fell Car- asleep the whole Car- time. He doesn't even I- remember your mom being here. Car- <laughs> oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Car and I, I argued about which street to turn on to get here, and then to today she told me that my street was right and her street was wrong. That's not what I said. And That's not I what said. happened. Don't put words in my mouth. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> we got in a huge argument. I was on the work phone on the way here, and I passed we got an argument an, today. No, we were in an argument <laughs> like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, we're supposed to and he's like, no, we're supposed to turn on no, other way around. Yeah, he said he said we could turn on, and we argued about it. And I'm like, the GPS said be turning there. That made me Fuck bleep that. out a bunch of you shit. Live. Last episode was a mess. You know how long? Are? I'm not even saying where it came off of. Oh, so we, oh, you bleep okay. out like like <clears throat> things? Okay. He doesn't bleep out everything that he's supposed to go back he, and bleep he, out. He does but not. No. I bleep out the R word. I bleep out the. You missed one. You, you did miss one. Did hey, I? I said you, one, you, and you missed you, it. Can you bleep out the R word as you tell me what the R word is? Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, we're already going to have time to bleep that out. So just <laughs> make sure to bleep out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, and then the F Nile word. Roads. You bleep out the F word. And it's... N- yes, not fuck. Oh, the one that you hate. That you yes. Always hate. Yeah, Fart? I'm like, we don't say that one, so I don't yes. know that. I don't know what um, F word you're talking about. <laughs> but Freedom! Don't if you really want to bleep out the lo- roads near you, then that's fine. I no. legitimately don't um, know what word you're talking about. Please do. So I know we were arguing about that today. This. I was on the work phone and I I passed the, you on the I passed the first you were on your phone. No, I was on the work phone talking to a candidate about their pay card, and yeah, um, a candidate they're getting and elected. Mark starts pointing at like the roads that the road that I miss and everything, and I like f- put my fingers up that I was going to go to that next road. Ah, yeah. I'm like I didn't say that we couldn't use that road. I'm just saying the GPS said to go to the other one. So. She fought with me for 45 minutes about it. Do you see how our relations get? Ships get pulled into the podcast. Yeah, yeah. this is incredible. I Originally, a, we tried to avoid that. I have a question for you that I think I've talked to you about, like outside of the podcast. So go, go on. Don't don't pull too much into it if you don't want. You have a girlfriend. No. How does how does <laughs> she? Um, He's like not that you know of. Yeah. How does how does she like feel about the Michigan world? Oh man. Well, I'm probably gonna show her this podcast at some point. So he's gonna say nice things. Yeah. <laughs> say whatever he's you gonna want. say. She loves be Michigan. Candid. She would but love it, to be here. I yeah, talked to her, so I know a little bit of what. Yeah. Tell the truth. She hates is. Michigan. No, I mean she she digs it. Uh, I think that she's got her family rooted down in of course in the F word, Florida. 
Um, the F word. Yeah, is that beep, the F word? Fuck, that's the F word, I guess. Yeah. Shit. Um, so it's kind of hard to like pull her up here, and I really wish that I could just get her to snowbird with me by the time we're 30, 31, 32. That oh, kind of thing. really? Yeah, because that'd be pretty sweet. Like, I could come up here, I could work from like May to November, I could make some good money, and then like I could go back and dick around in Florida. Work in um, taco trucks. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm good at tacos. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> make us tacos. Dude, I'll... Why did you not supply us tacos today? I apologize sincerely for my actions. <laughs> Damn it. I want tacos. Um, but yeah, she's... Oh, <laughs> I punched the table. I was going to say, um, after that, you can Was, that, was, that, like a, was I mean... that like a, a finger flicking up? Like, I have a point. <laughs> no. She no, I was going to point at something. Table. But it's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Yes, that I heard it. <laughs> Little Steph- you know, that was her dick hitting the table. <laughs> that was my finger hitting the table. <laughs> she's a she's a trooper. You know, she puts yeah. up with me coming up here to hang out with you guys. That's cool. It's so, like I say it, say it that way. She puts it up. She puts up with it. Yeah, um, yeah. we're working on her. We're you, reeling her. You in. know what it's like. <laughs> I don't so, know why you're laughing about it. If I could get yeah. a resounding, we love you, Steph. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we, we do love you, Steph. Love you, Steph. We, do lo- we, we appreciate love you, what Steph. you do for us. Tasha's and I like, say I for us you because Casey's a I was gonna say I actually have had the pleasure of meeting her. She's very very nice. She's a sweetheart. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I'm not th- just saying that because we're on air. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th- I think she's told me like the same thing. She's like, "It's fine," but like, I miss my family. I'm like, okay, like, yeah, I, she's, I'm never gonna hate on someone it, for that. Let me put it this way: we're used to Michigan right now. Yeah, you've been in Michigan all your life, right, Vox? Yeah, entire life. Okay, if you had to be forced to move to Florida right now, you'd probably fucking hate it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I got a lot going on up here. My you know? sister did it though. She lived in Michigan for twenty something years and then moved to Florida and is. Maybe she like got a job down there, yeah. like. Doing cool shit. Well, yeah, but I don't think you would just all of a sudden move down to Florida and not have a job. If I was forced to, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't I mean, have a like, job lined up. Realistically, yeah. when Casey moved down to Florida, did you have a job lined up? That's what I was going to ask. I wanted to ask. That was something I wanted to ask today was what made you go to Florida? I was going to ask the same well, thing. I mean, Please his, tell his me this because I don't even know. So y- y- y'all had the same question. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I kind of wanted to go and live somewhere else. I thought. My dream growing up was always like, hey, I want to go and like experience the world in other places. And like, you know, that whole like, yes, this mm-hmm. is the guy that overnight decided he was going to Mardi Gras. That, that too. That's, a, that's <laughs> another story if you want to oh. hear that. But um, I thought to myself, like, I'd like to go to Florida as a, a jumping point. You know, like I need to, I've been in my small town my whole life and I'd really like to go and explore and like become, you know, on my quest for enlightenment. This was my, my whimsical self like mm-hmm. five years ago. I was your, like, I'm going to do this. Your vision quest, and then you met if you will. Well, yes. Yeah. So I go to Florida. And I start working at a at a wonderful place called World of Beer, which is a craft beer joint. And, Sounds great. And as I'm getting trained there, um, you know, this girl walks in, and it was Stephanie. And I remember turning around and looking at her, and immediately I was like, "Hey, baby." <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and and the rest is history, really. You know, it just <laughs> and uh, it worked out. You know. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> well played, well played. Yeah. Okay, wait. So you you turned around and what what were you actually like though? I said, Best I said, hey, drop baby. ever. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, oh. Like, well, I, oh I saw God. her, and the girl who was training me, who was my manager, was like, "Oh, and here's Stephanie. She's so pretty, you know, like like." But she's she's cool. No, not Casey not was sending. drooling oh. and said, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it wasn't it wasn't like any sense of condescension because we were all like friends and they've been working together oh, for a while. Okay. it was just like so yes we all know she's very pretty right and, oh, I, like, okay. and I, I saw her i remember thinking like she will be mine in a weird <laughs> oh. johnny bravo style oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was aggressive <laughs> <laughs> who is one of the greatest Perfect. it's one of the greatest cartoon characters of all time absolutely yeah probably doesn't fly in this modern age of like chauvinism and <laughs> no yeah. very misogyny yeah. is very i don't bad. think we have any listeners of the age that are like who's johnny bravo yeah look at okay. yet yeah, no, I think pretty much everyone that we oh. have listening knows. Yeah, who does? They should. Mm-hmm. We don't advertise to like young people. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. We say fuck a lot. I didn't Johnny Bravo her. I kind of just like worked with her for about three to four months, and then like finally it was like, hey, we really like each other. And then three and a half years later, here I am talking to you guys. Holy shit, yeah. so, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it flies by. I'm sure y'all know you guys date. Do you? Uh, is, that, is that a podcast thing? I don't know what that's about. Do we about. talk about like our dating? I don't even know what dating is. Mark and I didn't. There was no dating there. We've been together for almost seven like years. Dating. We're just like we're like cherishing each other's company constantly now because yeah, we live together. What the fuck is dating? I mean, we go mean? we go out to <laughs> movies and dinner and stuff. I, but what well, I mean, date in like I just the, fucking watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're doing that with. <laughs> Net, Netflix and Marcus, baby. <laughs> 
Hey, baby. <laughs> but like, you know, is that is that something you guys have talked about on the podcast long? Like, you guys, is that something we have to beep out? Like, you guys have been together? No, oh, no, we, no, we talk about it. All, Everyone knows that we're public. like together. They're together, and Vox and I are together. Yeah, and we're and all we, we're all together. Yeah. We're all <laughs> together. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we, every time like, we wind down the podcast, <laughs> we go and have an orgy and then go home. That's what happens. <laughs> what yeah, is just, your problem? <laughs> just letting everybody's dreams be fucking oh fulfilled. Here. We needed a house for all that <laughs> orgy. Too. That's, why the, that's what the basement's for. Why, why do you think the couches have broken legs? No. <laughs> nice. Oh, what the hell? You're all so right, wrong. Take the, the away. Said. take the computer away. All done. <laughs> um, so, but you just randomly woke up and say, I'm moving to Florida. No, no, no. It wasn't random. I was doing the hard cider thing, and like that was awesome. It was a great time. It was great working, doing it, loving it. And then it started to grow, and I realized like that was not my happy place. So I was like, hey, I'm going to, like like I said, I was women's ago. Like, I'm not going to be fulfilled unless I go and live somewhere else. So I chose fucking Florida, you know, the dick of the United States. And I went down there, and I met a girl, like we've discussed. Yeah. And uh, three and a half years later, here I am. Um, so, like, back in Michigan. Yeah, right. Because you can't For, fucking yeah, escape on off. <laughs> yeah, but it's not it's not so bad. I found found a lot of things that I do love about the state, and uh, and you can continue with your list if you'd like to. So bars don't close until three a.m. in Florida. Jealous. Uh, they don't close until four in Chicago. Also jealous. Fair, but uh, I mean that people get shot more in Chicago. So I think you know what? I was just in, in Chicago like a month ago, and I didn't get shot. Yeah. Neither did my friends. Well, I feel like some of the ones black. in Ohio or St. Louis didn't close till four either. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, one of the ones in St. Louis didn't close until four. I mean, there's some no, weird. We didn't stay out that late. No, <laughs> we to St. Louis. I'm like a nine, ten o'clock bedtime guy. Yeah, you are. No, that's that's awesome. Um, just no, something I thought maybe maybe it would appeal man. to some of the crowd. Um, also, oh, here's here's yeah. one for you, Vox. Um, there's uh, there's no state tax in Florida. Ah, uh, I yeah. do well, know about that. That's like shopping mm-hmm. in the duty free <clears throat> forever. Exactly. Yes, I do know about that. Why do you sound so like your interest is so peaked at no state tax? Vox doesn't like any taxes because yeah, taxation is theft. I mean, yeah, but isn't isn't that made up in other areas though? Is is what made up? Like imaginary? Yeah. No, they probably no, have no, no. Like, is, are the <laughs> no state taxes made up on like taxes from <laughs> like oh, more taxes in stuff. other areas? So they don't tax. They don't like federal doesn't tax any more in Florida than they do anywhere else in the country. And they've eliminated the the uh, the state tax in Florida because we have so much tourism down there, like Universal Studios, Orlando, the Keys, and like everything that pays for like their pristine, perfect roads, which is another nice little perk. Yeah. Um, is based on the tourism. So people coming down to Florida oh. pay for that. Okay. That's why that I named I-95 is a godsend as far as the asphalt's concerned, but the drivers are fucking terrible. Well, and they yeah. don't have snow and salt on their roads either. No, so. that's true. Which is actually another little point that I wrote down here. Let me see. Uh, road <laughs> conditions, check. <laughs> <laughs> salt. salt. Salt, question mark? Salt, question mark? Yeah. Um, so like you don't get the salt on your car, so like stuff doesn't rust out down there. Yeah, that's the reason that my that's, grandparents liked buying right. vehicles in Texas and then bringing them back. That. The that's only thing that I didn't like about Arizona the roads trucks. in Texas, because even though they can they can maintain them a lot better because they don't have salt, they don't have a lot of the or issues that we have. Yeah, or winter, um, is that they flood a lot when it rains. They their streets are just like filled with like the water gets so high in their streets just because it's raining. It's crazy. Well, and that's because here we. <clears throat> We have multiple seasons a day, really, if you think yeah. about it. You know, so got to prepare we, for those hurricanes. Being winds. someone who works on on roads or has worked on roads, we factor in the fact that hey, this ditch <laughs> has to be d- dug because this fucking road will flood if it rains, mm-hmm. or the snow is melting and we need a different passage here for a sewer drain. You know, in Texas, I'm sure they're like, ah, fuck it, right. just just go. Build our own. We just got <laughs> tumbleweed coming. It's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No big deal. I don't know what the tumbleweed area looks like. Do you have uh, toll roads? Yeah. If we make gutter here, people will lose their guns. <laughs> <laughs> we we have um, we have toll roads. Yes, that's a thing. That's yeah, I accidentally went so on one. Here. There's like the Sun Pass or whatever. Yeah, and I my grand I was driving my grandparents' car and they don't have that yet. Or the car that I was driving didn't have it, and I didn't realize that I had to get off on the toll road. So I went through the Sun Pass and they got like a three dollar bill or something in the mail yeah yeah and car I did like, that e- sorry because i was like driving Virginia. i was like i think that i was supposed to pay somewhere but <laughs> <laughs> they uh they'll definitely uh they'll definitely send you send you a little bill yeah i want toll roads so bad in michigan all these got not to go super political but all these guys who are trying to get governor right now are like oh we're gonna fix the roads but 
what the people don't understand. Nobody is pays for it. Right. The people don't understand it's we all will pay for it because yeah. taxes That's will go through the thing. fucking roof like they have been, you but know, so. Would you want to pay that money? Like, if you had to take a toll road every day to work, would you want to pay that every single time you go to work? Yeah, so I don't bang my head off the steering wheel every time I hit a pothole? Absolutely. Yeah. 696 should be a toll road. And if I may suggest one other thing to Michigan, because of all the tourism that you get, because like up 75 going over to Traverse City, mm -hmm. yep. um, you could put a toll road from 75 to Traverse City, make them pay two bucks for the trek, and like you're taking money not just from Michigan people, but from people. Everyone. Because everyone, true. Traverse City is the hot spot right now. It's one of the prettiest places in this country we will visit. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're actually going there in two weeks. Yeah, we'll be uh, up there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I love Traverse City. That's I've where never I was born. been there. I was born there. Oh, you're you're born born Traverse? Traverse you've never been nice. to Traverse City? Oh, I love Traverse City. Nope. You want to uh, go in two weeks? I've never been to yeah. Traverse City either. Uh, one of the, maybe. One of the few major cities I haven't been to. It's beautiful out there. And it's it's like fun to be there. Like there's not a, like a lot of like crabby people because everyone's like going there to have fun. So they're just mm -hmm. like, hey, like what's going on? You want a drink? You want some tacos? <laughs> like you want to do stuff? It's like, yeah, I do. Yeah. And there's wineries. So yeah. everyone's got a little buzz all the time. So they're just like <laughs> smiling and red cheeked. So it's mm. perfect. So in the middle of the week is the best time to go because there's not a lot of people up there. Exactly. I tried to talk corporate into doing their retreat because they were talking about doing it in Michigan instead of Canada this year. And I'm like giving them all these places. And I'm like, but Traverse City is like a great place to go if you want to get the feel and like the, I don't know, just the, I guess just the environment that they, that they look for. If you want to experience <clears throat> Michigan at its finest, you don't hang out down like. No, you go to sleep in Detroit. Bear Dreams. Exactly. The Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes or like the Manistee National Park. Go to the UP and see the Painted Rocks. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, and waterfalls that are in Michigan. There is so much within like, a, a not a short drive, but like, a, you know, an aggressive little... Considering we have one of the trashiest cities in the nation, we have one of the most beautiful landmarks as far as like... We're surrounded we're by sure. huge We're're portions by of water that like, oh, yeah. on a good day, look beautiful. I mean, like then every day. Have you been to Lake Superior? Have you been that, to Detroit, that, though? That lake is the most but even glittering the lake River you've ever is, seen in your life. You know, it's not ugly to look at. The Clinton no, River is. When we went to uh, Cleveland yeah. a couple months back, mm -hmm. we drove by, uh, what was that? What lake was that? Lake Michigan, I think. Was it Lake Michigan? What no, lake we went to was Cleveland. that? It was, I don't know. Lake... Was it Superior? Where were you, no, where were you going? Where were you going? We were it in Cleveland, it Ohio. Cleveland. It would have been Michigan. Hold, hold, hold on a second, people. Wait yeah. a minute. I got I'm an pretty, issue all of a I'm sudden. Right? As, as a pure Michigander, you, I'm don't not a what, pure Michigander. you don't know what great lake you're driving past going from Detroit to Cleveland? We were driving over it. It was like a little bridge. Over it. Uh, oh, when I you're going to the safari thing. I thought you meant when we were in Cleveland. Well, Hold on. Hold on for just a second then. Can you name the five Great Lakes for me? Erie. One. Superior. Two. Huron. Three. Michigan. Four. And. Uh, oh, you uh, fucked up, boy. Why do I know the third one all of a sudden? Erie, the fifth Huron. one? <laughs> oh, the fifth there's one? a, the there's a word for it. You fucked up, boy. Michigan? Let, yeah. Michigan, Huron, Superior, Erie, Ontario. Ontario. Oh, Ontario. Ontario. That had to have been the lake. I don't know. That's the one. Was it the one? Yeah, you really super fucking blue. Yeah, I know that. Busted my balls a little bit. No, it was Lake Erie. I don't fucking care what lake it was. It was <laughs> like, nice. It was you know Lake what, Erie. The you know lake, where they all are? Lake, for future Point. reference, the lake the Cedar Point sits on. She was going to make that Erie. point. Yeah, yeah, Cedar Point Erie. is right on Lake okay, Erie. It was so Lake, it was lake Erie. Erie. But Still when, we good. Were, when we were in Cleveland, what was that? Was that a lake? Yeah. What lake was it? It was probably Lake Erie. Lake Erie, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Right off the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yep. In the Rock and Roller Coast, you go to Cedar Point. That's what they call it. I love yep. Cedar Point. I hate Cedar Point. Let's go for really. Halloween weekends. We work. Yeah. Yeah. Name <laughs> a weekend we have available in Halloween. Um. Whenever I say that, you and I say in Halloween, that means first of September till the end of October. Because fuck you if you think there's Actually not like a the two month long Halloween middle of <laughs> of November because we're still like cleaning. <laughs> what else is great about Florida? What else is great about Florida? Yeah. Yeah, I see you have written down some animals. So, oh, I got, yeah, I, I talked about the manatees and, like, the gators. They, they, don't, they don't bother you as much as you'd think. But I think that those are kind of uh, moot points in a sense. You I know, heard that they, like, snatch small children and drag them into the water. From time to time. Yeah, but so does Bill Cosby. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Oh, no! <laughs> You're a bad, bad man, but I love it. God, I'm no. on a roll today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm on a fucking roll. I'm going to check Bill Cosby off. <laughs> Sorry. I am rated R individual, okay? Yep. <laughs> Goddamn right, sir. Wait, you've got sound bits with Marcus's yep. voice? Yeah. I got them with all of us, yeah. That's a beautiful What do you thing. have of me? 
So nobody would buy that lady's vagina. Oh, for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. Three million. Uh, what about mine? Um, I don't think I have a tie strap on here. Actually, you left her wow. out. You don't have the. I'm gonna poop. Uh, no, I don't have. I got a poop on here yet. I oh, chewed no. it. Excuse me. <laughs> I got that one. So everyone but me. Wow. Box. Well, I mean, it, it's a work in progress. Neglect. <laughs> you suck. Sorry. Sorry, Vox. Sorry. Anyways. Gators. Um, I don't want. I don't want to talk about gators. You know, like people. People. You know, they got a bad rep. You know, and I just. I feel like that's a. That's a beaten horse, and uh, we should probably. We should probably just pass that on to some of the cool musicians that are out of Florida. You know, we got Motown here in Detroit. Yeah. Okay. We got Eminem. We got Kid Fucking Rock. Uh, yeah. 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 Flying yeah. that Confederate. We've. I. I think it's more important if you talk about you know the the rock and Motown music. That, yeah, Actual absolutely. Good Motown music. Boy, Jack we, White. Jack White, absolutely. Uh, Chad, what's his face Motown from Red Hot Chili Peppers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Anthony Kiedis. Like, I don't know if he's born in Grand Rapids. I know he spent like a period no. of his life over there. Yeah, Anthony Kiedis and Chad, the drummer. Chad Smith. Is, Is it, it Smith? Young the Giant? We're not going to talk about the Temptations. Too? Yeah, Ann Arbor. Okay. Well, you know who's from Florida? Uh, no one. You ever heard of a band called... <laughs> Leonard, Leonard, Leonard <laughs> Skinner? Leonard Skinner's from Florida. Yeah. That's right. Who? Leonard effing Skinner, my man. Well, you know, the, doesn't free the, bird. Doesn't uh, the drummer have one leg and one arm? No, that's Def Leppard. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he has one arm. Yeah. Know. The only reason I know that is because of Evan. <laughs> <laughs> that's Evan's the only reason that person. I know that. Every Def Leppard song he plays on Rock Band, he puts his other arm in his shirt and plays it with one arm. Because <laughs> he plays it with one arm. <laughs> is that a real thing? Yeah, it's a yeah. real thing. Def what? Leppard has a one-arm drummer. Oh, my God. Yeah. So Why do you think their the drum beats are so fucking simple? Rock band. He's Skinner, like, Leonard, Skinner, and Def Leppard all sound the same to me. No. Leonard F. And Leopard. <laughs> you know why Def Leppard named their song the way they did, right? Or named their band the way they did, right? Uh, I don't know. Because they named it in the exact same way as Led Zeppelin. Three letter words, seven letter word. Okay. Just copying, yeah. copying that style? Copy paste. Yep. Good. Bold strategy. Yeah. yeah. Van Halen? No, that's three and no, five. Three five. Damn it. And Good that try, was also though. named after, you know, the guitarist's fucking last name. The yeah. Doors. Fuck, three and five again. <laughs> oh, speaking of The Doors. Oh, shit. Jim Morrison, born in Florida. You know who else is born in Florida? Tom Petty. You're welcome. Rip. Yeah. The yeah. Heartbreaker mm. himself. The Heartbreaker himself. You ever heard of a little band called the Backstreet Boys? Nope. Back never heard of them. I don't know who that is. Yeah. I've only heard of the Blake Street Boys. Yeah, they're way better. Oh, no. <laughs> the what? <laughs> yeah. The Blake Street Boys. The Blake Street Boys. Mm-hmm. Uh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Casey so, and I are members. Yeah, we, we do it again. I am not a member. I hope so. Soon. Yeah, Vox doesn't sing, so. I mean, and, Andrew is a yeah, member. He does. Andrew is a, is a member. I only sing uh, to you. It was honorary at first, and then he actually joined. <laughs> yeah, so are Zach, Steve, Kroll. Um, <laughs> yeah, Steve. Who else is a member? Of the Garrett. Boys? Garrett. <laughs> Garrett will do karaoke all night. Garrett, or, Garrett will sing fucking Backstreet Boys with us any day. Dude's an animal. Gordo. <clears throat> yeah. Gordo will sing Backstreet oh, Boys. Oh, uh, good luck. Good luck. Car, car yeah. Zach, Anybody Zach. called him recently? We need to get him back out. Yeah, it's not going to happen. He's very, very busy. Not happy with that. <laughs> I'll probably go to work on the podcast. Hello. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm writing a note for myself to hunt these people down. <laughs> Have you ever heard of an uh, 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 absolute legend of a band? Um, that the Beatles. A, that wrote a song. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, that goes a little something like, uh, can you take me higher? Oh, oh, I know who you're talking about. Oh, yes. Bow, now, now, hey, now, now. That sounds like uh, name that song. That that Creed, Creed higher. There you go. Sounds like sounds like that, that band that sings. Fox loves six Creed. feet from the edge, and I'm thinking <laughs> maybe six feet and <laughs> so far down <laughs> with arms wide open. <laughs> it's gonna get real emotional real quick. <laughs> Anyone have a lighter? <laughs> you, you know, as m- for as much shit as people oh, yeah. have Creed, I I grew up on that shit, and I can't I can't say I hate it. Right. I like Creed. I like Creed. <laughs> What's funny is I I like Creed. Don't like Nickelback, even though they're basically like, the same. I band. don't I like mind Nickelback. Same band from different eras. I like old Nickelback. Uh, they had one good album, man. What side? Well, sorry, two good. Silver albums. Side Up. Silver Side Up was all right, and then they had uh, but the Road. Dark Horse was good. Oh, oh fuck I like Dark, I Horse. Dark Horse. No, no, no. The Road, man. The Road was good. The Road was solid. Is that Nickelback? Yeah. Is Nickelback from Florida? I don't Florida? know Nickelback that long. Uh, Nickelback's not from Florida. check real quick. Chad Kroger, I no, believe, is from list. Canada. <laughs> huh? Not a, not a oh, list of Florida. I'm like 90% sure Chad Kroger's him? Canadian. I feel like Nickelback would be from Michigan. 
you know what sucks is somebody no i think chad kroger's no, canadian they're, from, they're canadian yeah they're from nickelback yeah. yeah so yeah definitely 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 from michigan definitely do what you're doing casey's gonna go leak his lizard yeah speaking of lizards geckos are from florida Gecko, geckos are from florida <laughs> he, he wrote down geckos that doesn't mean that they're from Florida. He, he might want, just mean that they're everywhere. Don't spy on his list. <laughs> I think I think that we should take his list and just guess at what he was going to tell us about the rest of the things on there. Oh my god, no! Listen, tell me this is not like a hard rock. Like it's okay. See, here's the problem, Pinkleback. It's not their music. It's not the instrumental. It's one, Chad Kroger's voice kind of sucks, and two, his lyrics kind of suck. I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. You know what? The best thing I ever heard Nickelback do was they covered Sad But True by Metallica. Ew. That was good. No. Because Chad Kroger covered. actually did a decent decent version of fucking uh, Hatfield. Like you and your covers, man. I don't get that. I... See, Kara's head's going. Kasha? Hmm? What? Is this Nickelback? Man. Yeah, this is early Nickelback. Like, uh oh. Casey's going for a beer. 2003. My mom had a Nickelback album. Is it a long road? Let me see the pictures. Well, here's the long road. Hey, Mark, do you know my license plate numbers? All the wrong reasons. No. All the right reasons. Okay. Uh, if I did, Dark I wouldn't course. say it on the podcast. Why not? I uh, it was here and now. Yeah, so Tell everybody. So, hang on. All right. Uh, I won't, welcome I won't, back, I won't buddy. say no to a free beer. You, uh, all right. I was never <laughs> gone. Even though it's oh, yeah, that's back. right. Uh, it's like the whole time. Dude, I pee at least once during every show. It's this is a, true. It's he just does. a thing. Since we've had a bathroom next to the podcast table, he's always peed during the show. It's super convenient. It really so is. Convenient. And it's so much quieter than your... in my apartment. Oh, yeah. It's apartment. Nice. You wrote, you wrote <laughs> I love what you wrote down there. All right. Are you guys reading my notes? Right, no, I just read it. I knew let's they cheated let's get on the, the bit. Let's get to the rest of the artists huh? here, because I want to hear what you have to say you about ate, this. You cheated on the 8-bit. You had your eight bit there. Yeah, I did not cheat on the eight bit. You cheater. So I sure. want to hear about the rest of the, these artists. Who else is from right, Florida? I'm going to okay. hit you with a couple of things that you might not know. Okay. You ever heard of a guy called Flo Rida? Yes. Yeah. His, his name wow. is literally Florida. All right. So he, that was a gimme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about Pitbull out of Miami? Yeah, yeah, he's Cuban, he so I assume that. It's worldwide. He's Cuban. <laughs> he's Cuban. Where else would he be from? I mean, it makes sense. There's two he places said, Cubans he, are from. I think he says where he's from. There's two places Cubans are from. Miami or Cuba. That's it. <laughs> Valid. Where else do you know a Cuban? Valid. <laughs> Valid. Um, and then one of my personal favorites, who's not actually from Florida, it's Jimmy Buffett. But we claim him. Why do you claim uh, of him? Of course you claim him. He, he's guy? lived there for literally like 50 years of his life. Yeah. You know, he, he, he was uh, Mississippi or Alabama or yeah, somewhere. I think he's from Mississippi. That sounds about right. But he sings a beautiful song. It's like, you know. It's like uh, wasting away again, again in Margaritaville. Yeah, right. Yeah. Looking for my lost shaker of salt. Yeah. Some, Some people, people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I don't. Do 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 do. It's my own damn fault. Do 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 do. You missed my beautiful rendition of Jimmy. I don't Buffett think he missed it. He was here the whole time. <laughs> He'll catch it in the edit too. Uh, so <laughs> so I googled it just just to make sure. Because I wanted to see who else was from Florida because I saw what you had written down mm. and I found it hilarious that you wrote Jimmy Buffett, not Floridian. <laughs> not uh, from not it not from Florida. So, about it. so uh Chris Caraba is uh, a member of Dashboard Confessional, also from Florida. Oh Boca uh. Raton. <laughs> you can tell by the way that we both side how we feel about Dashboard Confessional. Uh. Uh, the band Shinedown was formed in Jacksonville. Oh, One of my favorite bands. I love Shinedown. Oh, I hate Shinedown. Oh, fuck you. That Haley's Comet song is the worst song in the entire I mean, world. Second what? Chance. Whatever. I don't care it's, what it's, it's called. It's, it's so uplifting. Terrible. Fuck you. I, I, like, <laughs> oh I like old Shinedown, Fly From the Inside. Uh, I, love, I love old Shinedown. Fly From the Inside is a I great fucking Shinedown. song. But Leave a Whisper is one of the best albums of all time in rock, in my opinion. You don't like Fly From the Inside? Don't the band Cold it. was also formed in Jacksonville. If you don't know the band Cold, yeah. Cold they read, made song uh, "Stupid Girl." Is it kind of weird that a band from Called Jacksonville named themselves Cold? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like ninety-four degrees, and they're like, "Let's call our band Cold." Some old shit right here, uh, Casey. What year is this? Two thousand one. Who is it? This is Shine Down. Oh yeah, yeah. That was my second guess. 
Uh, 03. Yeah. You're right. Leave a whisper. Nailed it. NSYNC was from Florida, too. Yeah, every good boy band. Another Ever. band. One another Direction band. wasn't. And they're okay. not a good boy band. They're not a good boy band. They are. <laughs> another, another band formed in Jacksonville. Yellow Card. Oh. Oh, I like Yellow Card. That's a nice card. little punk rock band. What? Vox is rolling in his future grave right now. I like Yellow Card. You do not. Yes, I do. Molly Hatchet, also from Jacksonville. Oh, I like Molly The Almond Brothers Band, Daytona and Jacksonville. Dude, Almond Brothers. Jessica? It's a, it's a great American champ. 38 Special, also Brothers. from Jacksonville. You like oh Damn. you like I love Florida's this got song. a lot of good we music. I never realized. I was gonna say, what's that thing that people say when they're like, I like a band, and it's like, name more than one song. Me. <laughs> yeah, that's Fox, but I wouldn't have known. I forgot the name of the song. Ocean was... Avenue. I like how I like how like you guys Sleeping said that like day, everybody who listens to your podcast already knows these things about you, but you guys didn't even know them about each other. Yeah, we, we learned. Yeah. What about we learned as we go. Have you ever heard Lights and Sounds? Lights and Sounds is a good yellow card song. A little heavier than the usual stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think people said that we need to have more conflict anyway, so. Uh, yeah. I got told by one of our longtime listeners that he does not like any games we play. Any? <clears throat> any. Well, that's a nice little segue into that's a fine. game that you're going to play tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I guess I could do that. Turn your computer away. If you're There's a shitload. Deicide is from Florida. I did not know that. Deicide? Who? O Town, also from Florida. Ray Charles. Do you come, guys, my lady, come, come, Morbid my lady. Angel, come butterfly, butterfly, sugar, sugar baby. baby. <laughs> Morbid Angel. Morbid Angel is from Florida. Is from fucking Florida. Did you know that, just message me on Steam. Do you know that Tampa is the birthplace of death metal? Um, yes, I did know that. I did not know that. Yeah, man. Uh, Manny Moore, also from Florida. <laughs> I love not Manny death metal. Moore. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I that'd be awesome. I, I'd listen to that. Dude, Manny trivium. Moore doing death metal. Cool. Speaking of Trivium? Mandy Moore, This Is Us just came back on the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trivium is also Love from it. Florida. I heard I they all got a huge show. pay raise with the I'm new sure season. sure they did. did huge they really? pay raise, yeah. That's they were talking about how... Thank you. Hey, want to hey. talk about Tampa? Hey. Florida. Hey, we're talking about This Is Us now. Sorry. Yeah. Want to talk about Tampa? Guess who's from Tampa? Pop singer. <sighs> Aaron <stabbing>. Carter. <laughs> Aaron Carter? Yep. Yeah, we don't talk about Nobody cares. Hold on, let's go to... Nobody cares! Wait. Nobody cares. Okay, let's go to This Is Us. Yeah, instead of why did they get a <laughs> huge pay raise? Because, they're, not, because they're on their third season and they've been doing so well. Before, the highest paid person uh, was Mandy Moore, and she was paid just over like a hundred thousand per Literally episode. Literally, just for her name. Um, and then it was Milo, and then it was like down from there. Now everybody's getting like two hundred fifty thousand per episode. Holy all shit. of them. Let me put it this way: I watched one episode of that show and was instantly like, "This is a good fucking show." I love it. So I need. I need. I. Hooked. I've only seen one episode. I need to <laughs> actually start watching it. Me again. too. How though? It's so. It's so good. You have really to. Good. But how do you stop? I don't watching have time. It. I d- yeah. I, I actually haven't kept going because I was already I so many it. episodes in. I don't want to get too far ahead of Mark that we can't watch it together. Yeah, because then you'll know too much. I also think Milo Ventimiglia is a, a very underrated actor. Oh, I love him. Loved him since Heroes. I do notice he's that Vox in, is over here shaking his head. Yeah, of course he is. He's in Gilmore Girls too. Of course he's sitting. You know over what else he's in? Head. Grown Ups too. We all enjoy. He likes Trump. Really? <laughs> he's in, he's in Grown Ups too. He, he plays watch, he plays a frat boy. He would watch Grown This Is Us because I was watching Shameless and well Shameless is a fucked was, up show. Then all of a sudden he was like, "Wow, what is this?" And he's asking me all these questions about people. And then he started watching it himself. So I'm halfway. If he actually watched an right episode now. of This Is Us with me, he'd probably be into it. I have watched an episode of This Is Us, the one that was majorly talked about last. The year. one with the fire. Yeah, the but one. you need to have like that mm-hmm. emotional connection leading up to it. You have. To, I yeah, made Mark watch that very first episode because very first it's episode like a bunch of different storylines that all tie together at the very end, and it gets you hooked on the show. Eh. Yeah. Uh, when we'll we make it through Avatar, episode. through the show, the last Airbender. So, Vox, oh. let me let me let me tell you what happened through episode one. Through episode one, I was watching it. And I'm like, All right, th- th- this is decent, you know, it's interesting. You know, everything seems like they're telling like four different stories, so it's like kind of confusing. And then all of a sudden, it all ties everything together, and I'm like, this is fucking good. Boring. I need to watch this. <laughs> You just have to watch it before you say boring because you didn't watch it. Watch episode episode. one. Trust me. Watch episode one. You will get there. You're such a fucking hipster sometimes, and I love it about you. (laughs) Too mainstream. Fuck you. You I'm like the tone you just had just reminded me of my coworker, and we keep making. I want to go back to my my old anime that everyone loves, but nobody watches it anymore. We we make fun of him because his girlfriend brought him food to the office one day, and he's like, "Oh my god, babe, you're such a fucking jam!" Like just (laughs) like that, and we we say it all the time now. (laughs) All the time. Your tone just reminded me of it. Um. 
So, good segue, but bad segue. Uh, it was great, and then we fucked it up. And you definitely fucked yeah, it up. That's but fine. Casey does have the right idea. Uh, the Ape Challenge. How about you just like don't, well, it's don't look at my screen. It's angled towards me. Don't look, don't look at it. It's angled yeah, towards me too, but I'm not looking at it. Casey, um, Ooh, can I do a little theme song for the 8-Bit Challenge? Yeah. You're going to sing us a 8-Bit hold on, hold on. intro? Just give me a second. Give me like a, just a little beat. Uh, I don't have one. It's the 8-Bit Challenge. The 8-Bit Challenge today. Beautiful. That's great. Woo! We're going to use that. Do we have your permission to use that? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. okay. I will definitely edit that in every <laughs> podcast. <laughs> every podcast from here on out. Oh you're, you're welcome. I, w- I want royalties. <laughs> That's fine. Royalties. That's fine. I'll, g- I'll give you a penny. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, are you familiar with the 8-Bit Challenge? And are you, have you listened to us like to a point where you know what the 8-Bit Challenge is? I mean, you should give the instructions yeah, I mean, like, anyways. You've kinda, you kind of briefed me a little bit. Briefed you you know, I feel like I've heard a little bit of it. I'll know? rebrief you, but more professional. How's that sound? Hit me. Perfect. The 8-Bit Challenge. We do this awesome thing almost every episode. I've tried to. I know there's a couple that we didn't. but um, So basically what it is is we take rather popular, well-known songs, and we find 8-Bit versions of them. Today we are only playing 8-Bit Universe uh, tracks. Shout out 8-Bit Universe. So You're awesome. Straight up shout out to 8-Bit Universe. Thanks for not charging us because we almost had an issue with that. Um, go check them out on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, all that good stuff. You can have all, all of their music all in one. Anyway, so we do this thing. I play a um, small portion of a song that is 8-bit, and you have to, number one, ring in by saying your name. So, for instance, Mark would say, Mark, and then I would say, yes, Mark, what is that song that we're listening to? He never says that. And then, <laughs> and then Mark would be like, that song is a Raining Blood by, and if he Train. says the artist. <laughs> I just imagine Train singing that song with drops of Jupiter in her hair. Hey, hey, hey. Soul sister, go on, go, go on Vox. We're sorry. I'm very disappointed. It's blood. <laughs> it's a fountain in the sky. <laughs> Raining is horror. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Anyways, <laughs> one point if you get the song correct. Train, cover that song for us. That'd one point if you get the artist. Okay. Now, mind you, on this one, I know some artists, and uh, I can help you out with that. But if you guys know the artist and I don't know the artist, then no problem with it to that point. Mm. If you get the artist wrong, you can't guess the song name? And yes. We are saying that beforehand? Yes, that was an issue last week. If, you, if you're like... Ooh, I know this artist right away. And then you say this artist and it's incorrect. We do not give you the opportunity to guess the song. Copy. So. And paste. Just be just be aware of that. Now we're waiting on Mark. Yeah, so say what you know first. Say what you need to say. Yeah, Ooh. always <laughs> always say what you know first, and that way you can get that guaranteed point. That was the first time I've done it this episode. I feel like I've done it like every episode. <laughs> What's, What's that? It? Just randomly saying something that I got that like popped into my do head. You guys, do you guys do that too? All the yeah. time. Sometimes you just need that in your life. You don't have to ask me that. We work together. That's fair. <laughs> you, you he sing sings to me on a daily work. basis. I'm just pandering to your listeners. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> do you do that? Casey and I had probably a dozen really good ideas last Saturday, right? Like, I mean, the, like we're gonna oh. we're gonna put a burn bale in between us on the gator. Yeah, but it not just, a barrel, but a bucket. A, a bucket. That's a good idea. You put a bucket. Burn bucket. Yeah, burn bucket. So right on the seat. Heat on on there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So. Are, are you with it? Yeah, you feel totally. it? Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Feeling it now, so Mr. I have, Krabs. I have Kara that wants me to be a witch, and then Casey wants me to be a narrator for zombies. Don't be a narrator; I'll, it's hell. I'll pay you more. He's <laughs> right; he true. will pay you more. That is true. <laughs> oh, if I get paid more, I'd probably be a narrator. For <laughs> well, it sounds like I'm winning this one. You're going to be in much more close quarters than pe- with more people, though. There's not that many people on the on the well ten, wagon, but though. and she's good with money. She works person. at a financial institution. Yeah. Holy this crap! Her resume's perfect. I know. <laughs> what are we doing? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Go for it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got I heard, I'm. You said you didn't even want to hire her, Vox. Fuck you. I did. Oh, I offered her the job. <laughs> I did not you? say that. I offered her the job originally. Actually, I think Garrett did. Yeah, I think Garrett was the one. He stuck the um, application he did. in my... He threw the application I never said that I didn't want her hired. I said that I You don't. said you didn't want her working for you. That is one thing. But hmm. number two is I don't know how she would just... So, 8-Bit Challenge. <laughs> 
Okay, are we ready? Okay, so you understand the rules? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pro up in this bitch. <clears throat> it's about to get intense. Prepare to These die. These are a lot of repeats that we had before. I tried to make them a little bit more Casey uh, what's, friendly. Did you theme this one? There's no theme. It, actually, there is a theme. Repeats. Are yeah. they all repeats? A majority of them. Oh, Uh-oh. my God. Great. So, thanks, gang. We'll be okay. I might lose. I don't learn I'll things. I'll probably lose. Just so you know. Tosh is very good. Um, Casey's probably very good. He knows music. No, nah, not really. <laughs> Does he know what an you know he knows what 8-bit is, music. right? Yeah, yeah. Pardon? Like you've heard like 8-bit music and stuff? He's played video games before. He knows. Yeah, there's like eight pieces of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Piece. All right. We're Here we go. Here we go. Marcus. Gosh. Oh, my God. Marcus. Is I Write in a Sins, Not Tragedy? This was yes. a tiebreaker. <laughs> By Panic at the Dish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this was that tiebreaker where you and it I was. both said at the exact same time. <laughs> Tash. Yes. Is this the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air nope. theme song? Oh. Oh. Casey. Oh. Yes. It's going to be Blink-182, I Miss You. Yes. That's there right. On the board. Yeah. Kara? Yes. All the small things? No. Good guess. I fucking know it. It's killing me. Mm. Wait for the chorus, bro. I'm going to beat you to it. Damn it. We got it. Hold on. Mm. Mark. Yes. Monkey Wrench. Foo Fighters. Damn, Damn it. Boy. Well done. I was singing the lyrics in my head. Like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Kara? Yes. Fall Out Boy. Yes. Three, two, one. I don't know. Ugh. Tosh? Yes. Is it called like Uma Thurman? It is Uma Thurman. Whoa. Tosh is finally on the board. The one, the one Fall Out Boy I'm okay with. Like the song. one Fall Out Boy song I'm okay oh, with. Oh, I do not like that song. Mark. Yes. Uh, is this Shine Down? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. It sounds like the intro to Second Chance. Tash. Yes. Is this Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Goulding? It is. Get out of here. Who the fuck is Ellie Goulding? <laughs> this was the only song that used to play Tosh in my car. fucking dominates this. song I love is in Fifty Shades of Grey. I love this song. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, if you would watch it, bro. Yeah, yeah. pass. You should. It's so Hard good. pass. Maybe you would have gotten that question. Crit right. fail. Mark. Yes. <laughs> oh, ACDC. Highway you, to hell. Man. No. ACDC. Yes. Highway to hell. No. God damn it. Oh, Casey. Yes. It's gonna be ACDC. Back in black. That's right. One for Casey. What? It's fine. Oh, I got a point. Mark still gets the point for the mm-hmm. correct artist because he said it right the first time. Oh. Casey. Yes. Fallout Boy. Yes. And. I don't know the name of the song. Tash, yes. I'm take my whatever point. he's done. You get the point for Fall Out Boy. Okay, yeah. I'll take it. The, it's Dance Dance. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Mark. Yes. Oh. This is Crazy Train. Yes. By Ozzy Osbourne. Yes. I, I. Mark. Casey. Yes. <laughs> Hotel California <laughs> by the Eagles. Yes. Holy shit. God damn. Kara? Yes. Is it Trap Queen? Yes. By, I don't know who it's by. Um, Take your point. Three, two. Fetty Wap? One. Yes. Oh, Holy yes. shit. Oh, yes. I don't know who Fetty Wap is. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I know he's sure, some sort of rapper. Well, pound it, pound it. You're missing the pound. Sorry. Kara. Yes. Damn it. Uh, Bittersweet Symphony? No. Tash. Mark. Yeah, Tasha. It's Coldplay. Yes. And I don't know the name of the song. Mark. Yes. Viva La Vida. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I hate Coldplay. You guys are animals. Oh, how do you hate Coldplay? <laughs> Terrible. Demi Lovato sings about Coldplay. John? Yeah. Tash. Yes. It's Kesha Timber. Wow. Um, are you cheating? No. If I was cheating, you We're would see me looking Going down and yelling Timber. How would you get that so quick? It's got a distinct beat to it. Yeah. I'm going down. Kara. Yes. Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Hey. I'll I watched I'll, the stripper dance uh, that I'll once. Take, <laughs> take the next song for 500. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, guys. You're not that far behind. You're Jeopardy fun. Hey, what's, uh, give me scores. we got five left. Um, Casey's got four. I've got five. Tosh has seven and Mark has ten. Ugh. Whoa. Oh. All right. Watch out. All right. Oh, my bad. Tosh. No. <laughs> Kara. Yes. Oh. 
Iggy Azalea. Yes. Fancy. Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> we got a barn burner here, folks. <laughs> oh, I don't know the name of the song. Oh, Tosh. Yes. It's Wiggle by Jason Derulo. Yes. You know what to do Jason with that Derulo. big bad butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 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 <laughs> I'm, he's from Florida, too. Hey. <laughs> Mark? Yes. Is this Bruno Mars? No. Oh, this is like the hard round. This is one of my favorite songs by these guys. That's a little hint for Tosh. Oh. Casey? Yes. Michael Posner? No. Damn it. Good guess, though, man. Yes. It's Disclosure. Yes. Latch. Yes. I would not have known either of those. I knew the words to the song, You though. started singing it, and I knew, so you gave it away, Cara. I fucking... <laughs> I'm, like, what? I'm like, I know this song, but I can't put the lyrics in my head. I fucking love Disclosure. I saw them at Lollapalooza a couple years back, and like ever them, since then, yeah. I need to see them again. Like, mm-hmm. they were just so much fun to see. Hell yeah. Cara. Yes. Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. Oh, oh my god. Shit. This is where she butchers Baby Got Back. Oh, I love yeah. this version of the song. It's, Baby it, Got Back like is it. way better though. I, mix I like too. the video too. It is funny. Oh, this is the last one. Oh. I got, shit. I got a hill to climb. I need this. <laughs> I need this. Good job, buddy. You've actually made it on the board, so that's pretty good. On the board. Board. Oh, uh, come on. Mark. Yes. Is Pitbull. Red yes. light, green light? No. Fuck. One point for Mark, though. It is Pitbull. Kara? Yes. Fireball? Yes. It is Fireball. Give me my point. I, I win. Your... No, no you're Tasha tied or tied? Tasha. Fuck me. You are tied up. Why does this always happen? <laughs> I was looking at it. I'm like, I think if Tasha I up gotten, by one. If I, you would have given me one second to answer both of those, and I would have tied Natasha. All right, let's get a tiebreaker up in here. I was hearing, I was hearing, bee, ba, 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 da, boop. Ba, 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 da, boop. That sounds like that thing that you guys do. That well done. So good at it. Yeah, she's she's pretty good. Um, this is gonna be hard for me because I gotta try to find a song that both of you know and let it not be Iris and the Tragedy. Well, hold on. In the meantime, can I request that Tash does that again for me? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> shit. I love it. I think I have one, but I just want to. I think I got it. Are you guys ready? This tiebreaker between no, Mark and Rob. No, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> so I, Several. I can't check in, but I'm, I'm going to heckle them. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to heckle. Okay. You want to heckle with me, Tosh? She's competing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Carl. Yeah. You're not tied? No, nope. Cara's, I'm not. Cara's, Cara's not, not heckle with me. She's one point down. If we if we even get that far, it's probably gonna be something that they're gonna both chime in at the same I time. Hope so. I I'm hope so. I'm listening very hard to see who chimes in first. Am I right, ready? Am I allowed to do that, like in like a Boston accent? I don't think that's a problem. I think right. it's funny. Okay. okay. Boston ready? Accent. Both of you? Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna figure this one out, are you? <laughs> oh, you amateurs. <laughs> Tosh. Yes. Billy Jean, Michael Jackson. Yes. Oh, this is yeah. a bunch of crap. She knows Jack- Jackson more than I do. Oh, I thought you would have gotten that one. No. Nope. Sorry, meep, 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 meep. buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't like Waggle Jacko that much. I, like I would have. That would have been a good tiebreaker Cara song for yeah. me and her. Car and Tosh would have been good with that one. Yeah, that's true. This is, this is a hard part. Is this Tosh a- wins yet again. Yeah, Tosh is still on top of My the last victory is hidden forever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you guys have a list of like like hey this is the reigning champions like win no but I'll tell you who do who do who do Dustin Dustin do that's for sure we got uh, one of our guys who um, has been 
a friend of Mark for, since college. Yeah, um, since 2009. He he came out and uh, did a show with us not too long ago. And uh, he he knows everything about the 8-Bit Challenge. He's listened to the episodes more than I have. He's listened to every episode at least twice because he's gone back and like picked out quotes that are funny for our intros. No kidding. For us. Yeah. yeah, he just sent me an updated the list dedicated. the other day. What was his name one more time? Dustin. Dustin King. Dustin King. Dustin, I don't know you, man, but I really respect you. Yeah, he yeah, he's you. like super super supportive of everything. So, um, speaking of which, um, if you'd like to support us, like Dustin or our other buddy Steve, whose car is cousin, um, you can head over to Patreon.com, search for TF4, and start supporting us by giving us a little bit of mo- money every month. Yeah, it's capitalism. You it's give us money, a, we give you stuff in, yeah, in exchange. We just, do, we just do small things, yeah. you know. <laughs> so uh, that's that's one way to keep keep some uh, lights on in the place and, and able to keep going yeah. on. I'm yeah, like that's stopping you yeah, from yeah. paying the electric bill. Okay. It is, it is. <laughs> so um, donate to us or we can't yeah. pay our, our electricity. No electricity, bill. no podcast, period. You know what? If you don't give us money, we can't afford these mics. we got to take them back. That's right. We just got to return them. <laughs> <laughs> Set them back on Amazon. Another way you can support ago. us uh, is heading over to Redbubble. If you want some merch, um, you can get Cara's. Uh, actually, yours is not up yet. It was supposed to be up today, but it wasn't. Wow. I was just going to say you can get Kara's chest piece. Um, Her chest coming, piece? Though. Chest. Chest oh. piece. Chest piece. Chest piece. Chest piece. Chest yep. piece. You got me excited. Where's the nipples? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see them in real life. Why do you need to this see like a, like a digital a version? That's, That's a, it. I'm changing yours. I want to see them <laughs> in every way. <laughs> put, just put a nipple on the chest piece. No. Mark's, Mark's beard, though, <laughs> is there. And uh, Tasha's peach is there. And then also our logo is there. Casey, how do you feel about Tasha's peach? Have you seen it? Have you seen a peach? You know, I'm, uh, I'm more of a strawberry kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, I don't even know what that means sexually. <laughs> I don't either, but okay. What, what's, what's, I feel like I got baited. <laughs> it was a setup, buddy. Sorry. Damn it. Anyways, mugs, stickers, phone cases, pillows. You can check it out yeah, on redbubble.com. Search for TF4, and we are there. Uh, stay connected with us. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the feedback. Head over to Facebook. Uh, search for TF4. Give us a like. Uh, give us some comments on some stuff. You can even review us. That'd be awesome. Give us some reviews. Tell us what we can fix. Tell us what we uh, are doing good. Feel free to tell me I suck. That's cool. That's I'm used to totally it. totally acceptable. Uh, if you'd like to listen to us, there's two ways you can do so. Head over to tf4podcast.com slash listen. Um, we also have some minor blog posting going up. And one day there will be tidbits on there where you could read about us. Um, if you do want to know about us, head back to episode four. Is it episode four, the about sure. all about us? I think it's episode four. Yeah, I can find um, that over real quick. And then head over to iTunes, Pod a- Podcast Attic, Cast Bean, Podbean, whatever your uh, sp- your favorite listening app is, your specific li- listening app, and um, listen to us on there as well. Uh, Casey, pleasure. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thanks yeah, so thank much you for being, being here. Being on. Thank I'm you for coming all the way from Florida. Yeah, just, traveling all the way from Tampa to just here. to be here. Just this for podcast. this. Yeah, man. Because I know that's all you did today. You just flew here and then you came. He's going home tomorrow. Straight. Here. Yeah. yeah He's actually taking the red eye. To yeah, back, back to yeah. tonight. Hey, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I still don't know what the fuck red eye means. It's I know the it's last a plane. flight of the night. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. I know it's a plane. My mom was on the red eye last week when she was coming uh, in. Whatever. Yeah, it's the last flight of the night. Why is it called the red eye? Cause, because because you're so fucking tired. When that you your get eyes on are red. Get off the plane. Which is kind of a good segue into what I think Vox is doing. In saying good night. Is that what you're doing? Saying goodbye? I don't know. Is that yes, that's definitely what we're doing. Okay. We're saying yeah, we're definitely <laughs> we're definitely calling it quits right there. Casey's, the end Casey's pulling out the Vox right now and shouting out the segues. <laughs> I do that. Yeah. I've been trying not to recently. I learned from the best, bro. I know, I know, I know. But thank you so much. Episode uh, 38, sure. TF4 Podcast. Something My name like is Vox. Marcus. I'm Kara. I'm Natasha. And I'm Casey. Hey. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks Bye. for listening, goodbye. guys. Bye. 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 24 karat magic baby yeah <laughs> no, it's not.